Welcome everybody to the Oregon Trail. <clears throat> Today it is Oregon or Bust. The hardest difficulty. I think, right? The hardest trail of the game? That's what we're going to be doing today. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. It's going to be spicy. It's going to be, uh, well, let's be honest. It's going to be a little bit scary, too. Like, I don't try. I know you don't trust me. I don't trust myself, but we're going to react however we're going to react, right? So, yeah, today is the Oregon Bust Trail. Um, in the last stream, we kind of went through all the different kinds of trails, all the different kinds of survivals and, and things like this. Um, excuse me. What? You've unlocked a new journey? No, 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 no. I, I, I believe we've done that one. Let me check. We unlocked it. Uh, we went through a bunch of all the um, side trails, side challenges, survivals and all that. See, as you can see up here, survival is done. Um, the journeys are done. Right, yeah, fur trade is right there. That, done that done uh so really the only thing we have left is the nature trail the scenic trail and the organ and bus but we're gonna do organ or bus that's how we're gonna start out today it's gonna be a long one so like you know tie yourself down because it's gonna be a long one today how you doing Aris? how you doing bliss how you doing anti meow how you doing sergeant cat sergeant cat hey Susie t how you doing claire hello claire Amanda, how you doing, Amanda? Wisdom, what's going on? Dark Sun, how are you? Piper, how you doing? Working, lurking? Work, lurking today. Oh, working and lurking today. Very well. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing this. And, um, you know, what is, uh, what, what do I call a completion here? Well, finishing it off. <laughs> I mean, ideally, we would want all the party members to make it. Will it happen? Well, with my gameplay, we probably know it probably most likely won't, right? But as long as we can get one person there, that shall be good, right? Yeah, I think so. Hi, yeah, gaming. How you doing, Shorty? How you doing, Shorty? Good to see you. How you doing, Alexander? How's it going? Dark Sun, thank you for that. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that. You too, Alexander. Thank you for the uh, kind words as well. Anna Kate, how you doing, Anna Kate? Chibi, how you doing, Chibi? Let's click on this and read what it says. I've not even clicked on this yet. Uh, right. Five legs. The road to Oregon is a long and difficult one. Draft a party and experience the full danger of the trail as you make your way to the valleys of Oregon. Reach Oregon. Now, difficulty wagon leader. It's going to be hard. This is it. This is what we've prepared for. Kind of. Start the journey. <laughs> oh, God. God. So, like I said, we, we, we did the trails, we did the other trails, we did the other um, survival things, and we've unlocked a lot of different things. So, hopefully unlocking the, you know, like the hunting knives, certain classes. Uh, unlocking some of those hopefully will help us in our journey. So, take a two journey across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns, or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die of cholera, don't give up. Try again and again. And again! Right. Absolutely. So, I'm going to get help from the uh, from the chat here, obviously, about who I should bring. Uh, right off the bat, we have new class, Prospector. Uh, we have Ira, Carpenter, Wiley, Refined, Farmer, Punginous, and Punginicious? Punginicious? F me, dude. Neat. And Levi, the, you know, the Stinky Pete. Messy and athletic. What the hell is this? Is this, like, messy? Hasn't bathed in weeks at least. Does he like to be messy? Um, I don't know. So we either get a harmonica. I think th what, this is the, um, this is the blow up stuff, right? Right? This is go boom? Is that what that is? I forgot what that is. I forgot what that is. Hope everyone's doing good. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Got Christmas music as today's theme tune all over the over the back of the Oregon Trail. It's a bit of an odd mix. Not Lewis, right? Not Lewis. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so if that's we're not arguing, right? We're not arguing. Inclined to aggressive behavior. Let's not do that. No skatoos. Skatoos left last time. Skatoos left when we had five miles left, I think, for the Oregon for Oregon. And they just, like, decided to pff, 
Get up out of here. Wiley, a chronic liar, frequently employing dishonesty and half truth sounds terrible. Uh, used to the finer things also sounds terrible as well. We might be stuck with Levi here, who hasn't bathed in weeks and uh, is athletic at least, healthy, strong, and enjoys physical activities. I think we go Levi. He already looks broken. <laughs> He's already got a, he needs a cane. How you doing, Lavender? How you doing, RPG Gamer? Skatoos is a hot mess. I agree. I agree. Ira has a fabulous mustache. I also agree. Athletic and smelling, then that's a good combo. I go Levi. Yeah, I think this is. I, I just don't know what. Like, what? Like, what's that? <laughs> alcohol? Is that what that is? That's alcohol? Frick, dude. That's something. Maybe. I think I go Levi. This is bad. This is got this. So Skatoos is bad, right? Ira is just gonna be honestly ridiculous. Almost like like we're gonna have to like. Yeah, I I think it'd just be too much of a hassle. <laughs> Levi. John Walter Maggie. A new class added to this is Guide. So we have a guide, a banker, and a carpenter. Maggie is actually looking pretty good with the three toolboxes. John, physically weak and prone to tiredness. That's terrible. Uh, a chronic liar. That's also terrible. Walter, pessimistic and refined. Terrible. Uh, Maggie. Heroic and neat. Likes to keep themselves in their environment immaculately clean. Yeah, like, that's a no-brainer. Uh, physician, this is a new class that we have, and I think adventure is a new class we have, too. Banker, charming and dim-witted. Charming is a good trait. Charming is very useful for negotiation, I will have to say. Benjamin, he also likes to keep in himself, you know, things neat and all that. Believes that the pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life. Don't really like that very much. Funny and slack, Adam amuses everyone around them with ease, unwilling to put in the effort necessary for success. I think we go Abigail. Charming and dim-witted, and we get $50. Can easily compel those around them, which is good. Has a hard time learning new skills. That's fine. Really, that's all right. I, I, I can definitely take that L there. But, like... I'm, I say we go Abigail. $50. We get the charming trait, which in charming trait, we can basically use as a, not an exploit, but definitely a, um, a, a, a way to, to win our negotiations. Yeah. I say Abigail. A doctor will be useful. I, I like the three medicine, right? The three medicine and possibly his, uh, I just don't like, uh, the pursuit of pleasure is the more, most important thing in life. Like, that's bad and bougie, yeah? We go Abigail. Here's another one. A mountain woman. Oh, look at that. That's pretty spicy, yeah? We have Amy, Violet, and Billy. A mountain woman with the hunting knife. Frail and paranoid. F that noise. Oh, crap, dude. This is all terrible. Amy is refined and religious, guided by spiritual belief, who is a farmer. Violet, physically weak and prone to tiredness. Fearful and uh, and distrusting. How are you frail in a mountain woman? I don't get that. Uh, Billy, brilliant, understands the ways of the world and is fast learner, but is also a chronic liar. It's either between Billy and Amy. It's either between Billy or Amy. That That's just how it is. That Sorry, Mountain Woman. You look awesome. The skin, the character looks sick. But, uh, yeah. It looks like... <laughs> it looks like out of all of the characters, we're only going to go with actually one new class, the Prospector. Religious equals mo more composure. Like, more composure as in, like, they need more composure. Because if so, then I'll just go Billy. Yeah, I, I, I'll go Billy. I'm thinking Billy. Paranoid was a pain. Yeah. Paranoid was a pain, especially when harvesting, like, uh, bushes and berries and things like that. Let's go, Billy. All right. Well, there we go. There's our, uh, 
freaking thing here. I will not rename these characters because I do not want to hurt anybody in chat. <laughs> I don't want to give anybody dysentery, you know? So we'll just leave them as is. All right, so not sure what to buy. The kit is perfect. The Greenhorns kit, 175 flour, 50 bullets, 10 clothes, one coffee, three medicine, three toolboxes. That's not what I wanted to do. Go back, please. Select the kit. Thank you very much. All right. So we have the green horse kit. And of course we can make our own kit. But I found these a little bit easier and just, you know, I don't know, easier to do. Green horse kit. We have the hunter's kit. It comes with a, they both come with a Murphy wagon, 100 bullets, 10 clothes, one coffee, three medicine, three toolbox, 200 meat. Come with a Fisher's Kit, 50 bait, 10 clothes, 1 coffee, 3 medicine, 3 toolboxes, 200 meat. The Carpenter's Kit, 175 flour, 50 bullets, uh, 10 clothes, 3 medicine, 6 toolboxes, and 2 wheel grease. Honestly, I kind of like this. I kind of like the Carpenter's. Hey, Ainworth, how you doing? I kind of like the Carpenter's Kit. I like the flour, because you can turn it into attack if you need to. Comes with 50 bullets, has 10 clothes, 3 medicine, 6 toolboxes, and 2 wheel grease compared to 1 coffee. The only thing we don't get, I guess, is coffee out of this one compared to the green horse. But we get more toolboxes and more uh, wheel grease. I think I like that one. With a little bit of extra money, we can obviously buy more coffee too, or a coffee, or they coffee, or the coffee. What is this again? Nitroglycerin. Okay, that is the explodey thing. That's the boom boom there. Yeah, all right. The boom boom. Right. Okay. Uh, let's keep shopping, maybe. Let's go. I could go hunting knife. Let's go. What is this for? A map of the constantly evolving trail and a central part of any expedition reveals nearby waypoints single use. Sounds very helpful. I will add that. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. An ancient, ancient clock passed down through the ages works as well as the day it was made. <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy some coffee. We obviously want some coffee. Right? He only had one coffee on him. That sucks. I feel like we want a knife. We definitely want a harmonica. We definitely want a harmonica Geller. I would love I would love to have a wheel. If any of these I could take just one wheel. Because I know if anything breaks, a wheel is something usually that's gonna break. I could keep like I could get the the map, I could give away the map. It's either I get a tra I either I either take the trail map or I take the wheel. That's basically where we're at right now. Yeah. Just start just stop by Starbucks on the way on the way home. Yeah. Hey James, how you doing? Hunting knife for more skins? Yeah, well, yeah. Hunting knife for more skins, but I think early on I don't think we're really going to need skins right away, I don't think. Other, the only time we really want skins is is when we are about to cross the river. I don't know when that is. I, I don't have, like, the trail memorized or anything like that. Maybe get rid of one of the nitroglycerins? I don't know if we can. I think we have to keep those. That's part of our character, um, character shoot there. Yeah, the 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 wheel is handy, huh? Let's get let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that and let's buy the wheel. And it's not just one wheel, it's three freaking wheels, right? So I think that's pretty decent. So I think this is what we're going to roll with. Plus we have um two greases as well. So this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Send it. Better with the knife than the map. True. Um, hey, Art Vandalay, how you doing? We're gonna do this. I, 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 I desperately think, I, I really, really think having a wheel is important to me. I don't know, but we'll have to go. 
With their wagon packed and spurred on by the promise of Oregon, the interpret party say their final goodbyes before they set out for Independence, Missouri. Let's talk. <laughs> oh, Moses. Are these going to be like the same quests and things like this? Douglas. Greetings, fellow travelers. Are you heading to Oregon, too? It's been quite the journey already, hasn't it? And it's meant to get harder from here. Perhaps you can help me. I met this woman here. She left with her family. Oh, this is the Ava thing. Um, we'll ask who Ava is. Should we help Ava and Douglas out again, or should we not do this? Like, should we rat him out to her dad? Just because it's different? Maybe. Possibly. Uh, what the frick? I'm sorry, folks, but old Harris passed away some time ago. I wish it weren't true. I really do. Moses Harris has passed away? The party is shocked to hear Moses Harris is passing. They have many qu- What is happening? Is there a freaking ghost? Hello? Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Enough! 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 Quit it! What just happened? What the frick was that, dude? Are we having the haunted Oregon Trail? I counted him among my most valued friends. He was kind and generous as anyone I've ever met. The party is shocked to hear Moses Harris is passing. They have many questions. What would you like to ask? Ask if they were friends. I do not. I don't even have a controller plugged in either. That's the weird thing. What just happened? Like, that was very specific where that was going. It was, like, going to, like, certain menus and stuff, too. I knew him. He loved to tell stories around the campfire at night. I'll never forget his tale on the petrified forest. James Clayman uh, uh, smiles as he reminisces. I counted him among my most valued friends. He was kind and generous as anyone I've ever met. I do not have a wireless mouse either. <laughs> but that was like clicking stuff too, dude. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Hey, Shabby Doo. Hey, Shabby Doo. How you doing, Shabby Doo? I, I subscribed to Shabby Doo. I did. I, I did subscribe to Shabby Doo. If y'all are like really into the nobody's uh, turnaround, subscribe to Shabby Doo. Let's do it. How about that? The party is shocked to hear of Moses' passing. I would like to ask about his death. It was a scrown, or it was that uh, scourge of the country, cholera that carried him off. I wrote a verse to remember him by. You don't mind me listening, of course. Here lie in the bones of old Black Harris, who often traveled beyond the far west and far uh, for the freedom of equal rights. He crossed the snowy mountain heights. He was a free and easy kind of soul, especially with a belly full. Thanks for listening, stranger. The party is shocked to hear of Moses' Harris's passing. They have many questions. Um, right. I'm more freaked out about what just happened. Honestly. Is it Cora coming back? That was freaking... That was nuts, dude. Hey, Daniel. Thank you for the two super chat, Daniel. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Locals and fellow immigrants mill about the main street little conversation i was that supposed to happen like honestly were they like talking about like do you think that was moses harris's like ghost doing something to the game there or was that like a tutorial doing so i don't know what that was but that this is the reason why i can't like it went specifically when it went like boom it hit like this it went to party it went like levi it clicked on levi then it went over to levi rewind that i don't know what happened there but that was insane 
Amos. Brave in the trail, are you? Uh, well, best of luck. It's 2,000 odd miles from here and go and through less than welcoming terrain. Make sure you're adequately prepared before you leave. Miles. Did you read the Missouri uh, Republican today? Does some folks start for Oregon without carrying spare parts? Not even an extra wagon axle. Must think they grow on trees. Hope they're lucky enough to find an abandoned wagon. See if it happens again. Let's see. Let's if I click on Moses Harris, let's see if it does that again. Watch. The party has heard tales of the famous mountain man, Moses Harris. I'm sorry, folks. Old Harris has passed away some time ago. I wish him weren't true. I really do. I don't know. Get me on the fucking road, dude. I'm terrified. All right. Uh, town resident, please. Uh, some folks seem to think that two oxen are enough to get them to Oregon. Two oxen can barely move a fully loaded wagon. And if one of them gets sick or dies, you'll be traveling on borrowed time. I want to go overland with less than four. Trader Jim. Better take some extra sets of clothing. You're bound to get wet. And if you get wet, likely you'll get sick next. I'd recommend hiring a ferry at River Crossing, too. They're expensive, but guaranteed a safe crossing. All right, well, here we go. Let's uh, let's do it, right? Well, let's actually look for what's to trade. Out of curiosity, do we have anything decent for trade? Like, what do you offer for three clothes? God damn, you're after you. No, 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 I will reconsider that. Oh, thank you. My lord. Now that we got the, the traps under control, we know how the traps all work, so that, that's good news for us. Um, services, no. Store, no. Now we're off. Here we go. We're off to see the wizard. Wizardly, wizard, wizardly, wizard, wizard of wizardly Oz. I don't watch that movie, dude. It creeps me the hell out. Uh, Kansas River Crossing. Yep, that's where we want to go to. Our first thing is a crossing. So there you go. Should have got the pelts. Should have got the knife there, forehead. Already looking back at it a popular river crossing the first challenge for any westward bound party pelts can be useful for stealing or sealing the wagon really avoid a broken arm and we get that avoid contracting cholera we get that doesn't seem too hard right left or right it's always good to go right kind of we went left last time so we're gonna go right i will run on steady pace uh eight hours strenuous 12 pounds per day we'll just run on a on a steady pace right now you know we're just starting out right as morning breaks in independence our travelers take their first steps on the Oregon trail spirits are high everyone is in peak physical condition party is filled with vim and vigor here we go already hygiene levi thank you dare i do any uh greasing on the wheels not Tripping over a small bump as we walk out of the town, Billy finds himself in the dust. Thanks, Billy. Winter in 154 days. F me. You want to know something? You want to know something? I was contacted by YouTube today. <laughs> Actually contacted very loosely. But I was made aware we are not going to go fishing. Um, I was made aware today that my Q&A yesterday was deemed inappropriate for YouTube. Isn't that amazing? You see how ridiculous the YouTube, uh, how, uh, ridiculous the YouTube system can be? Billy's the new Otto? Billy's the new Lewis, right? Is it Lewis or was it Otto? Was it Otto? I think it was Otto, actually, yeah. Ah, this guy. I like this guy. The party is at a complete loss for words. It's not every day that a man just falls from the sky. Regardless, a responsible thing to do might be to offer some assistance. Yeah, I agree. They don't say why. They don't say why. All they say is we determined that this is inappropriate. So you're going to have limited monetization. Concerned it all. Uh, looks like I've run out of steam again. I knew these engines were nothing but trouble. The strange man dusts himself off. 
Excuse me, where are my manners? My name is Samuel Peppard, and I thank you kindly for your help just now. What you just witnessed was my l was my latest invention, a flying machine. Though I admit it was something of a work in progress. Now, I mean, we want to do some of these quests again, right? I guess so, right? Why not? All that's missing is the right source of power. Steam engines, modern though they may be, are simply not up to the task. Marvel that is idea. You are quite right to be impressed. I have studied the limit, the work of Sir George Cayley, Cayley, an English inventor who has already built a working heavier than air glider. It's only a matter of time before humanity achieves the dream of powered flight. Now, in real life, like honestly, like these are real people now. Now that I go through this again. I know wh who are like actual real people. So this guy. Knock it off. This guy was a real guy. It was a pleasure to meet you. Perhaps we will see each other again. After all, who knows what the future holds? I shall endeavor to spy on you from above. While gathering water for the camp, Levi finds uh, some turtle eggs buried on the bank of a nearby waterway. The eggs might be gathered and cooked for food. No, no, we, we will leave them alone. That'd be a good party morale, right? No, I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, James. Thank you for the re-up, James, on the membership. Appreciate that, James. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, several travelers are celebrating their journey. Whether they're honoring their victories or commemorating their fallen is unclear. Resource of morale. Let's see. Can I see what our morale is? Push on. We don't really need to do it. Okay, a little bit of hygiene, a little bit of wagon condition there. That's all right. That's all right. It's fine. Ooh, okay, now the party morale hits. But we're at the uh, Kansas River crossing. Wait, my God, why is everybody like... Oh, bug off. Great. Um, an infernal whining fills the air. Swarms of mosquitoes are going at it. Very well. Uh, that's terrible news, because already that puts us in a bind of hygiene. This is organ or bust. This is like the hardest difficulty out there. I'll just do it right away. Right away, we'll just get the hygiene up. Right away. Am I ca carrying nitro? I am carrying nitro. Three things in nitro. Stop it! Stop! Okay. I... I don't know what's happening. And I might have to do something about this. I really must, might have to do something about this. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to have to do something about this. So, um, give me a sec. Hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, all right? Let's disconnect the keyboard and mouse, shall we? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I disconnected the keyboard and mouse and reconnected them. The dogs are not even in the same room as me. I think they're in the living room. Danielle's messed with me somehow. All right.
It's the ghost, dude. It's the ghost. It's the absolute ghost of Moses Harris. Okay. If it does it again, I'll have to take other options here. All right? We'll continue for now. All right. Greetings, immigrants. Welcome to the canvas, uh, canvas, <laughs> Kansas River. Uh, how you choose to cross is the first real test of the trail. Now, don't even think about fording any river deeper than to, than the wagon bed. About two and a half feet, you'll swamp your wagon and lose your supplies. Uh, you can caulk the wagon in bed and float it, or be smart and hire me to take your wagon on my ferry. Why not have a look around before... I don't even think we have enough money to do this. Yeah, I don't think we have enough money to even do this. We're going to have to ford it through. Let's see here. All right, let's talk to the people here. We'll go with, we'll go in order here. I remember Sims, Rebecca Sims kind of being like mean or weird, I think. Albert. Hi, my name is Albert. My family and I are excited about the prospect of journey to Oregon. We sold all our possessions to stock our wagon, but it will be worth it. It is said that Oregon is a land of abundance. But first, we have to agree on how best to cross the Kansas River. Okay. Uh, very well. Amy, we can't afford to take a ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. We'll turn it over and caulk the bottom. Very good. Ferry operator. Oh, wait, we don't need to really talk about him. Um, no, we're good on you. We, we know about you already. Rebecca Sims, with the crowds of people waiting to get on the ferry, we could be stranded here for days. Hope there's enough to graze on all for animals. Not many people carry uh, feed. I'd rather wait. Though, then... A cross, then cross on a rickety wagon boat. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to see what people have for trade. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It appears some people are willing to trade. Let's see what they're willing to trade. Now, we gave up a lot of clothes. We did. I feel like three coffee is going to be expensive. I will check it out. Very expensive. Pelts is interesting. Health is expensive, though. Toolboxes should be cheap. Haggle. We'll use Abigail. Good job, Abigail, with a charm, right? Charm trait? Yep. And with the charm trait, we can at least get three toolboxes for six bullets. And I think that's a fair deal. Two bullets a box? I'm good with that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and see. Ooh, should we rest first? Well, I guess, no, no, no. We're not going to rest first. We're going to cross. We're going to see what this is like first. We're not going to use the ferry. Slow. Um, looks like it would be fine if we forded it, honestly. 61% chance. Uh, repair the wagon. I think we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll actually uh, move this around, too. There we go. So it doesn't get damaged. All right. I think this is fine. I think we can definitely do this 100%. And, um... So, yeah. I think we're... I don't really think we need to rest or anything like that. We've, we've gone through worse. We've absolutely gone through worse. I'm very confident in this. Yeah. <clears throat> I could do other things to get skill reveals. Uh, you can have uh, storytelling. Storytelling is a big way to get skill reveal reveals. So that's one way. I'll probably do. Good luck on the trip. Thanks for streaming. No problem, Dark Sun. The party scrambles up the muddy bank and returns to the trail. Avoided a broken arm and avoid contracting cholera. So that's two additional things we got. Easy cross, big blue river. Let's go there next. Derived from the Kansas people, uh, people's name, a great blue earth river, it's, it's a significant ford for any wagon. Collect herbal remedies, we get $40. Uh, restore Billy's health and we get a lot of food. So that's easy and good enough, right? We can do that. We will do that. Uh, we still are traveling at a meager pace. I guess, well... 
Morale. Okay. <clears throat> Through this trek here, since it's a very, very short trek, we'll go on a filling. And we will go to the right. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Mamma Mia, the soundtrack, Abba soundtrack. Danielle would be bumping it with you, I tell you what. Hey, Black Raver, how you doing? Hi, Fit Ran. How you doing, Fit Ran? How you doing? With the Kansas River crossing behind them, the party looks ahead with some trepidation, of course. You're going to hear that word a lot, trepidation. A small mound of earth sits atop the path. Flecks of trail dust strewn about in the wind. This ground has been disturbed recently, perhaps to bury a cache. We will not touch it, and we will leave. We will leave. We do not need to touch it. There's no reason to touch the butt unless it asked us to. And I'm talking about the boat and not the other butt. All right? Billy checks the bags of flour, then recoils in disgust. It is infested with weevils. D 99? That was all my food? Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we gotta restore all of our health for Billy in order to get more um, flour. That's fine. Now, who would be this? I honestly would probably throw it at maybe Billy in this. Uh, I don't know actually. Uh, Billy or Maggie, Billy or Maggie. Uh, I think Maggie was the carpenter, right? So let's do Billy. We gotta find food stuff here. Coffee. We found coffee? Well, that's some shit. Herbal remedies. We gotta get flour. Okay, what the hell just happened? Did something just blow up? Strike one. Told you it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a very long day. We got hit by weevils and we got hit by nitroglycerin all at the same time. But hey, this is a new character here. New class and another new class. Well, we've had the uh, musician before. But we have Emma, Maggie, who is looking absolutely beautiful. And Henry. Emma, paranoid and egotistical. Hate those traits. Maggie, refined and religious. I could get past it, especially with five, tra uh, five traps. Henry. Slack, unwilling to put in the effort necessary for success, and Neat likes to keep himself clean. Honestly, I think we go Maggie. I think we go Maggie. Yeah. Why would we go Emma? There's no reason to go Emma. Right? I mean, other than, like, the music box, but it's definitely Maggie. It's either Maggie or Henry. Maggie. Uh, now we have Henry, Robert, and Celia... Banker, Carpenter, and Adventurer. I think we go... I think we go... Robert. I think we go Robert. Robert or Celia? Probably Robert. Angel? 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 Or Myrtle, 
or Lucian? Athletic and religious, brilliant and messy. <clears throat> I think we go Myrtle. On hell? Yeah. Thanks for choosing me. <laughs> hey, Teresa. How you doing, Teresa? I think we go Myrtle. On hell? We go on hell? Nah, on hell. On hell. No, we can't go on hell. Lucian? It's between Lucian or Myrtle here. A guide for wayfinding. I see that. Okay, I see Angel doing the wayfinding. <clears throat> this is tough. Guided by spiritual belief, Lucian is. I'm seeing more Lucians. We'll go Lucian. Grace, Gus, and Willem. F, Gus. Straight up. I think we go Brilliant Mountain Woman. Inclined to aggressive behavior? That's fine. She's a mountain woman. She can be aggressive. I don't mind. <laughs> we go Mountain Woman. Straight up. Grace. F Gus, because that's big trouble for us. Um, and Wilma is just, there's nothing really going on for Wilma. It's Grace. There's our new party. We got Maggie, Robert, Lucien, and Grace. I will go. I will go with the Carpenter's Kid again. We now have a hunting knife. And honestly, honestly, we could, if we want to, buy another hunting knife. Or, we didn't even get the extra money. We didn't get the extra 50. Or we could buy a coffee. And we can buy some bait. And we should say F the wheel. I think we go coffee bait. F the wheel. Use, use the um, grease early on. And I think that's what we do. Yeah, I think that's what we do. <coughs> the knife was good for more than two uses. I think it was good for three or four. <coughs> I wonder how good the wind wagon is. I know, right? Remove. I don't think we can. Can we? You can, right? Get rid of these. Get more grease. Uh, no. $15 for Grease. I mean, having two is fine. Honestly. The Wind Wagon is cool, but very little storage. Have you used the Wind Wagon? Does it go fast? I think this is what we're going to do. Now, for the last, like, 10 minutes now, nothing has happened on the computer. If I touch... And I talk about Moses, and then my thing starts going wildly, then I wonder if it's a game thing, if it's supposed to happen. Talk to Douglas, tell him about his love for Ava. Yes, we will do that. Now, this is the real testament here. Nothing has happened. If I click on Moses Harris, and then things start to happen, that's how we know it's a game thing. Um, okay, the party heard a tales of the famous mountain man Moses Harrison decides to look for him at the local hotel. Unfortunately, they find no sign of him. Instead, another man named James. Sorry, folks, but old Harris passed away some time ago. I wish it weren't true. I really do. Ask if they were friends. Yes, I knew him. He loved to tell stories around the campfire at night. I'll never forget this, uh, his tale of the petrified forest. Counted him in. Okay, it's not a game thing. Very well. Everybody can breathe now. Hmm, okay. So, we're not going to talk to everybody else because we already know what they have to say. 
Uh, we don't really need to trade. I think we can go ahead and depart. That was effing ridiculous, dude. We got two feet out of the town and blew up. Strike one. We already failed. Now, if memory serves me right... Oh, my God. This is better rewards. Um, successfully cross the Kansas River, get $44, reach the settlement in nine days. $43. Uh, yeah. Let's go at a strenuous pace, shall we? Meager rations. We'll go right. We will go here. We will then hit it up with first things first. As soon as we get out of here, hit it up with the wheel grease. And let's get it going. Now, somebody's going to break their leg or somebody's going to hurt themselves walking out, right? Someone's going to trip over a rock. How do you know when to use the grease? Um, it's just a judgment call, really. And it lasts for three days, too. If you think, like, the trek is going to be hard, like, if you're in the mountains or something, probably wouldn't want to do, do that, but it's just a judgment call. You don't really know when. You can use it whenever you want. A bison lies in the dirt beside the trail, unmoving. It appears to have an external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at a quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of any meat. We shall push on. One thing about this also is we don't have a character that has charming anymore. So that means we don't get that charming trait. Which is a little unfortunate. But, you know, I guess I blew their asses up. So what can you do? Hunting. Yeah, hunting, we will do. Who's going to be the best hunter? I'm going to have to say Grace, probably. Yeah, shooting four, mountain. Yeah, mountain woman. Absolutely. I'm very good at hunting in this game after we did all those little tiny mini games. Right? I'm like used to it now. Frick. Like this is a lot of meat already. I will use the knife. Ah, how did that miss? I will use the, the knife. Right off the bat. Right off the rip. Ten pelts. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, we will continue to go right. This time... Yeah, we'll continue to go right at a strenuous, meager pace. <clears throat> that's that's good stuff. We could go at a strenuous, maybe filled pace if we really, really wanted to. All right. Assist him. We know his story. This is a real person that had a real invention that actually created it, which is really cool. All you got to do, look it up. Samuel Peppard. We can marvel at his idea. Robert goes ahead and, you know, toes me. Oh, frick, dude. Did you break your freaking leg? We'll inspect the injury. Who will inspect it? Who has the best medicine? Maggie? Maggie? Medical one. Okay. Very well. All right. Maggie examines the injured foot. Very well. Robert is in deer pain and he hates his life. Depending on the extent of his injury, a good rest might be. Yeah, we'll rest. Three hours wayfinding now, one. Yeah, broken leg. Much appreciated. That hurts a bit. My lord. My lord. <sighs> fish team. Uh, we do have fish. Or sorry, we do have um, bait. We will go fishing. Who has the best fishing skills? I'm going to say Grace, maybe. 
Grace attitude? Okay, that's attitude. You have to have attitude to do fishing. We'll let Grace do all that, though. Uh, fish is a good source of income, I think, too, right? Yes, it can be used as, f as food, but also good income. Fish are food, not... Oh, wait, wait. No, fish are friends, not food. Right? There you go. Fish are friends, not food. There we go. What was that? What, what movie is that? Is that Nemo? Or is that Shark Tale? Anybody remember Shark Tale? You know, Will Smith? <laughs> That's all I got for you. I don't know who else is in that movie. There we go. Perfect. That was Finding Nemo. That wasn't Shark Tale. Dang it. Maybe, oh wait, maybe, no, Shark Tale, I think the sharks were like a, like, they were like, kind of like mafiosos. Frick. Your little brother's obsessed with Shark Tale? Oh, how'd you miss that? Come on now. The fishing is kind of weird in this game. I wish you knew how far you were going to cast it, but maybe that's the difficulty about it. There we go. Good job. Lake sturgeon. Not even a quality fish. You can click where you want it to land? I don't think so. Because I am like, this is like, this is where I want it to go, right? Oh, you just, okay, you don't press and hold, right? I've been pressing and holding it the whole time. I see. That makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> so I can just click it this whole time? That seems way too easy now. <laughs> I complain about it being weird, and then I complain about it being too easy. What the hell's wrong with me? Wow. I've been pressing and holding it the whole time. Only Bruce I recognize is from Jaws. Lizard. All right, let's 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 yeah, we're yeah, we're done with that now. We got enough fish 100 pounds of fish. That's good. That's money. That's food. That's all the above. Let's get it going Let's get it going mm. Grace manages to catch 100 pounds of fish. Could you imagine catching 100 pounds of fish? Uh, yes, we shall do this 25 more additional fish all right, I think we're in good standing when it comes to um comes to food. So let's go ahead and put us up to a filling appetite here. Keep that party morale high. Robert's just aft right now until we get to a settlement. We have a bunch of pelts on us too. I think honestly, oh damn the freaking mosquitoes. I think right now we're in a better shape than we were uh, before. Yeah, one hundred percent. We won't fill everybody up. We'll leave it as is. All right, here we go. Get to the crossing. I don't know how Robert's gonna do it in a freaking uh, broken leg, though. Plus, we're gonna. Can you hear that? Oh yeah. Um. We're gonna get a bunch of money here too, as well. The river is up ahead. Yeah, I'm feeling better with this party already. Greetings. Greetings to you. Let's see. Do you guys have anybody that wants to buy some uh, some fish? A dollar per fish? This is a good time to learn who has haggle or not. Uh, Robert? Oh, F me, Robert. Okay. All right. Reconsider. Trade. Whew. That's a lot of stuff there. Um, 
We can get $25 for 25 fish. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And that's fine. We might cross right away. Let's see. Slow. Yeah. This is a definite cross for the river. Um, let me see. I think we're good. Yeah, we don't need to repair anything. Let's go. Right away. Let's go. No hesitation. Let's go. Get it going. You just passed an exploded wagon on the trail? Yeah, who are those nerds? <laughs> who brings nitroglycerin to a party? I hope Gameloft will add more unlockables and stuff for the Oregon Trail. I love this game. Nostalgia is a very popular thing. Played this back game back in the 80s. I do too. I hope they add more content, more trails, more journeys and things like that. They could really expand on this. Um, really much so. And I, I think that would be so cool. Hey, Neverly. How you doing, Neverly? <clears throat> Party scrambles up the muddy bank. Very good. $87 for doing... Like, we just got a lot of money just now. Yeah, a lot of money. Collect meat, we get coffee. Collect herbal remedies, and we get $45. All right, this is where back to where we were, right? We will go to the right. Hopefully, there's some herbal remedies there. And we will go there. We will continue to run on a uh, filling diet. And um, we will not collect meat, right? That's what we won't collect. I'd rather try to go for the money than the uh, coffee right now. Because then I can just buy coffee. <clears throat> Have a good one, Chibi. Have a good one. Do take care. Howdy, folks. My name's Henry, and I'm powerfully glad to see you. Uh, I need a favor. One of my horses ran off last night, but I can't leave these two to go look for him. Can you watch him until I return? I'll reward you when I get back. I agree. Thank you. I'll return as soon as possible. This took like a day or something, I think, right? <clears throat> yeah, this game is on Switch too, that's right. I wish it would give you a warning about the nitro before it explodes. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. <laughs> two hours has gone. None of the two hours have gone. We've we've been in this situation before. He's not gone for too long. Let us be patient. I agree. Let us be patient and it will pay off. He'll be back presently. We have enough food to survive. We're fine. The air grows colder as the hours roll on. We're here in the morning. Morale has gone up. That's good, I guess. Oh, yeah, because of the food. Um, hours continue to slowly pass with no sound, sign of Henry. And he's back. There we go. Hooray! All you gotta do is be patient. Apologies for the delay. I ran into an old associate. And, uh, yeah, you don't need the whole story. $30, two coffee, one medicine, 30 flour. That is great. Hoorah. Uh, I'm overstuffed in six things of flour. You know what? That's fine. We'll continue. All right. Very good. That worked out. That was nice. Ah, damn it. Wagon condition has gotten worse. Um, Grace begins scratching her stomach fiercely. Yep, we will do that. We will use meat on her stomach to kind of take care of that itching. And we'll look at what we have here as far as what needs to be repaired. A couple things need to be repaired. <clears throat> I'll do it now. I'll repair it now. We'll continue. Ooh, white bison. White bison indeed. And there's our herbal remedies. Hopefully, let's see here. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me take a look at these people one more time. Farmer, mountain woman, carpenter, trapper. I think we let Lucian do, do this, right? Lucian? Do it, bud. Frick, dude. Two herbal remedies, though. We didn't get the three that we were hoping for. But hey, that's fine. That's good stuff still. Helps us with health and all that good stuff. That's fine. The Great White Buffalo. The Great White Buffalo. Oh, shit! That will bang echoes from within the wagon and Grace cries out in pain because she got shot. 
Seems to be improperly stowed. Rifle misfired. We will treat that with medicine. And we will let uh, Lucian tend to it. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. There we go. Now we have a gunshot wound and a broken leg. That's our hunter, too. Grace is our hunter. She's the only one that's touched the rifle, so she improperly uh, stowed the rifle away. So, honestly, the way that she got shot was probably her fault anyways. Yeah. Alright, so we are now at the crossing of this son of a gun. The Blue River Crossing, the roaring of the fast flowing river, can be heard ahead. Long before it comes into view, this is the Big Blue River. Infamously difficult crossing. First thing we will do is we will talk with the folks here. Laura, what would you like to know? No, we don't need to actually talk about the uh, crossing. Big Louie? What would you like to know about himself, about trail? No, we don't. Well, I guess we don't really need advice. We, we're pretty, pretty much set in stone here. The party leader, please. No, thank you. Let's see what our trade is like. Trade supplies. One oxen. Could we have four oxen if we wanted to? Interesting. Can we actually have four oxen? Maybe? Is that even possible? What do you want for that? As much as I'd love to offer you one of my fine beasts, it appears your wagon is full. Okay, you can only have three. At least for us. Right, okay. How much you offering the toolboxes for? Haggle. Robert doesn't know how to haggle. Lucian? No. Maggie? No. Grace? Probably not. Um. Lucian. Frick, dude. Nobody is smart. Lucy attempts to reason with Martha. Doesn't work out. Fine, you hold on to your toolboxes then. You could sell fish again. We have $150. Let's do another haggle. And we'll run it with Maggie. Hey, five wit. Very good. Uh, we will not sell though. Yep. Hey, Grandma Joan. How you doing, Grandma Joan? I got lost in the Q&A when it dawned on me that you were live now. Happy to see the Oregon Trail. Very well. Good to see you, Grandma Joan. And thank you for checking out the uh, q and I appreciate that. Yeah. I guess we could do one more if we wanted to, right? Sell pelts. Haggle. Grace. Yep. That's all you get. That's all of our wits. Not good wits. Terrible wits. We're not so witful. All right, so let's take a look here. I doubt we can cross right now. Yeah, it's very rapid. Um, we're not crossing. So we are resting. We will rest. Okay. Grace Moonshot. Okay, very good. Energy goes up. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the cross now. This is moderate. We will ford. Well, I guess we could... Uh... We'll see what happens if we ford it. Rest and improve. Might be too deep to ford it. But then it might not. The more we rest and the more we wait it out. I mean, if we wanted to right now, we could probably try and do it. On a... On a caulking. Went shallow. I mean, might as well use the pelts. Use the pelts. 83% chance. Yeah. I'll take those odds any day. 89% chance. That's very good. Very good chance. I don't know how the oxen breathe. I guess they swim. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen oxen actually swim. Woo! 
Oh! No, we're good. I thought it crashed. So the party's good. We're all good. Very good. Nothing on the collection of the herbal or meats. That's fine. We will go to the alcove spring, though. And if we collect herbal remedies, we get $47. If we collect meat, we get one coffee. Uh, we will go try for the money. We will try for the money. In the meantime, we will uh, put on... Hang on a sec. We will put on another hit of grease. We have three coffees as it is already. So, I mean, we're doing very good in the, in the <laughs> coffee department. Uh, let's see here. We will run on... Steady? Yeah, we'll run on steady since it's already going to be one day anyways. We'll run on steady and we will run on filling. And we will continue. Actually, we will run on meager. There we go. That's what we'll do. The oxen have snorkels. <laughs> that was a bad, like, farmer, so let's go Maggie. Maggie, show us the way for herbs. Frick. Wait, what's this? While gathering the berries, Maggie notices some herbs with red flowers camouflage amongst the raspberry bushes. She identifies the plant as Lobila, the seeds of which can be crushed and used as medicine. Six herbal remedies and food stuff. Oh, very good. That was really good, Maggie. That, yeah. That will give us our goal. Exactly what we need. That gives us more food. And that gives us some health. Ah, well met, travelers. It's good to see you again soon. So soon. Uh, Samuel Peppard waves hello. I've decided to stop my work on the flying machine for now. The general principles are sound, but I believe I will have to wait for the advent of a more powerful engine. Besides which, I have yet to solve the issue of how to safely land. He has a bruised arm. We will encourage him, of course. Thank you for the support, friends. It is comfort to know that you hold the science in such high regard. No problem. Um, I shall build a new wagon powered entirely by the wind. Why walk to Oregon when you can sail? Am I right? Rather, I believe uh, there are investors at Julesburg who may be interested. Very good. Now, we don't have to do that because we already completed that quest. So we can actually go past Julesburg. Look at that. Danielle's in the chat. How you doing, Danielle? There's the wife. Hope you're doing well. There's Jefferson also. The party spies some small thicket. We will go with this. Uh, let's go Grace with the gunshot wound. Hey, nice. Wayfinding. Yeah, all right. Reaches into the shrubbery. She notices a handful of, of old unfired bullets lying beneath. Ah, bullets. Very good. All right. Good job. Very good job, everybody. You make your own wife be a member? Hey! She wanted to be a member, and that comes out of my that comes out of my that I'm I'm paying myself basically. <laughs> hey Alex, how you doing, Alex? Alright, so hygiene here is gonna be very important. Let's do that. Take care of this. There we are. Good. Oh, I know, she can replace the bullet in her freaking stomach, right? A short distance ahead, a fresh net of water cascades from a stone outcrop, plummeting several feet into the basin below before settling into a cold and clear pool. We got the herbal remedies, $47. Okay, so I'm trying to, like, my best to, to get as much money as I can. Why? Because I want to try to at least get a like a new uh, wagon that we've never had before. I think that would be kind of cool. Ava. Yes, Ava. We have your uh, boyfriend and all that good stuff. Uh, ooh. Uh, tell her about Douglas. Or we can offer 50. No, no, no. Tell her about Douglas. Uh, we will leave. We will not give her money. We will not give her food. We will leave. <laughs> Thank you, Travelers, for bringing this news to me. Yeah, no problem. Frank, it's a long way for the next place. You can safely rest. Enjoy the peace and quiet while you can. Perhaps you should carve your name. We will carve our names. The party morale will get that, right? 
Uh, a handful of travelers loitering around the spring, enjoying the shade and the cool air. Maybe that doesn't give a little bit of party uh, morale there. All right. Take a trade here. Um, let's see, supplies. Uh, medicine seems good, but I think that's going to be too expensive. Yeah, way, way too expensive. Flower seems okay. Maybe we can haggle with this. We'll go with Maggie. Maggie might be our, like, go-to. Yep, Maggie might be our go-to, uh, negotiator, if anything. Yeah. hey yo. That seems fair. After a short discussion, the pair comes to an agreement. The price slightly improves. Well, very good. So, for 54 flower, I'm gonna go nine bullets. Why? Because we just picked up, like, bullets from the bush that were free anyways. So, there you go. Okay, all right. So, with that being said, we shall rest or push on. No, 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 no. We shall push on. Fitrad says, Hi, Danielle. I just wanted to tell you how amazing you are. Kans talks about you all the time, and your support and caring for him is so lovely. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Fitrad. That was very sweet of you. Okay, it's okay, Danielle. My hubby makes me pay to be a member as well, but it comes out of our own pockets. That's right. You know that was out of her own. Uh, that was that, that, that for for the yeah. She she wanted she. So what happened? This was like last year when she became a member. She got really jealous of the people in chat. She's like, "How come everybody has a K next to their name and I don't?" I said, "Well, because they're members and they want to be members, you know. <laughs> and if you're a member, you get a K next to your name." She says, "Well, I want one." And then she got one. <laughs> Have a good one, Susie T. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us. <clears throat> hey, Ella. How you doing, Ella? Hey, Jade. How you doing, Jade? All right, here we go. Big, big roll, big roll right here. Collect meat, collect pelts. Um, I will go fish, deer, herbs. Shit, 10 days. Can we bump that up a little bit? Go at 7 days. Fish, deer, herbs. That's what we'll do. Hey, Stormy. How you doing, Stormy? It's because you're in a cult very well. <laughs> it is. It's a cult, dude. Uh, wow, too much uh, flour. I did not realize we had too much flour. Right. Um, hmm. I'm sure there's some Tetris I can do here. Damn right. It starts to rain. F. The thunder rings out across the landscape. Rain pelts down in the party and the lightning frightens the oxen. Don't run away, oxen. We will wait out the storm. Hopefully the oxen don't run away, though. Party packs inside the cramped wagon and battens down the covers. The cramped and uncomfortable. The party tensions are amplified. This is not what they signed up for. I hate that when it says that. This is not what they signed up for. This is not what they signed up for. You tell you tell me you're going to go 2000 miles across the country for months and you're not going to see rain one time. Is that what you're telling me? That's not what you signed up for. Wagon grease expired. Gunshot wound. Are we good? Oh no. The wagon's back wheel catches in one of the trail's mirrored ruts. It sticks and jams fast. It will move no further. Biceps. We will unpack some. Energy will go down. We lost one day. That's crazy. Losing some food there. With the wagon bed lightened, the party pushes as the oxen pull. In time, in time the wagon rolls free. There we go. Get out of here. God damn it. All right. Let's, uh... Let's repair that. That's all I'll repair. I'll, hold, I'll leave that hole there. Continue. How do I go about becoming a member? Uh, you just hit the join button, basically at the um, at the bottom of the video. It doesn't show on a on a mobile device, I don't think. So if you're on a mobile device like i like an iPhone, I don't think it shows there. Android, it might show there. 
Uh, but like PC and things like that, yeah. It shows up there. You just hit the join button. We signed up for Smooth Trail Blazing and Beef Wellingtons for dinner. I know, right? We smooth for like first class. That's what we signed up for. The party notices a sickly looking woman standing near a broken down wagon. Oh, it's Grace. Oh, this is little Mary, right? Thank goodness I spotted you when I did. There is no sign of the woman's companions. If she has any, the party is unsure what to make. No, maybe this isn't little Mary. Um, talk to Grace. Please, if you could spare me some clean clothes, I would be greatly obliged. We will give you one clean clothes. Hey, Jill. How you doing, Jill? How's it going, Jill? The group is hailed by a disheveled... A looking couple on the side of the trail. A young girl nervously peeks out from... This is Little Mary now. Jane, thank all that is good to other travelers. You are the first people we have seen in some time. A sight for sore eyes, indeed. Ask what happened. Doesn't make much for a good story. Truth be told, our wagon broke down. We weren't prepared. My husband did the best he could, but he has a broken arm. And without spare parts, we are stuck. We considered leaving the wagon, but it is just the three of us. Me, my husband, and Little Mary here. We want to survive this journey with what we have left. We might be able to make it if only we had some more supplies. That's why I was so happy to spot you. Please, I beg for your assistance. Offered to repair the wagon. Thank you. Um. Robert? But Robert's not doing well because he has a broken leg. It's either going to be Maggie or Lucian. I would go with Robert, but he's broken. Ma uh, Grace is broken. Ooh, Ma Lucian. Lucian inspects the wagon to the best of his ability. Luckily, it doesn't take a skilled carpenter to recognize the issue. Lucian is able to uh, quickly identify the problem. The wagon wheel is warped out of shape. If the family here to continue were to continue, the wheel could cause undue stress to the rest of the structure and anything inside. What should be done? Try to repair? Says to work repairing the broken wagon part. Mommy, what's the man doing? I should not say that word. Hush, Mary. Very well. I shouldn't say mommy and daddy. <laughs> Okay, it does show on Android. Very well. Yeah, there you go. Hey, carpentry went up for Lucian. That's very cool. If mobile, you can hit the money button in chat and click on membership at least for Android. Okay, for at least for the Android. Okay, good. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out on iPhone sometime. Because I don't know how that all works. Uh, Lucian manages to restore the wagon to working order. It may fail again in the future, but it shouldn't serve the family until they reach the next settlement. Did Danielle get the hug from us? Absolutely, Danielle got the hug from every... Well, from us, from you, from all of y'all to me transferring to her. Right? She absolutely did. She loved it. We are indebted to you and your generosity, kind travelers. I imagine you wish to continue your own journey, but I do hope we meet again. Yeah, until, like, you know, we find out because we know what happens to little Mary, which is just terribly sad. Son of a bitch. Maggie's foot has been crushed under the wheel wagon. Ay, ay, ay. Everybody's hurt. We got to get to town soon and fast. We will let uh, Grace at it. But Grace is hurt. That doesn't really help us very much. Grace examines. And we have medicine, though. Yeah. Um, We'll rest. Everybody take a rest. Maggie has a broken leg. Yep, that makes sense. We will clean up some people as well, I think. At least Robert for now, I think. I think that's good. Oh, and I guess uh, Grace needs a little bit of cleaning up too as well. Let's clean up Grace. There we go. Gunshot wound's only going to last for two more days on Grace, so that's that. Whew. Maybe she'll survive this time? That'd be kind of cool. Kidao. I don't remember the screams, travelers. I've been seeing a lot of folks from the east recently. A lot of them come and fish. I thought it could be fun to start up a challenge, see how well they do, and bring a bit of fun. Many of these travelers have such long faces. You're welcome to try it out if you like. What is this? My challenge is simple. 
I'll give you a few minutes to fish up as much as you can. Once that's done, come back here and I'll grade you on how you did. Harder to catch fish will be worth more and rare fish are worth more as well. I'll provide you with some bait too. Yeah, I accept. Who will do the fishing? Lucian. Hey, 50 bait. God damn. 50 bait? Okay, let's go for it. Now that I know that fishing is a little bit easier now. Am I stuck on this little, like, uh, thing here? Yeah. Whoop. Got you. A channel catfish. Party's gonna cost us all for doctoring. I know, like, we're not gonna be able to buy a wagon because we're gonna have to spend it all on doctoring. A gold eye? Not to be confused with golden eye. A blue catfish. Wow, very almost top top tier there. I think the silhouettes of the fish are different. Hey, Samira, how you doing, Samira? Wishing everyone a wonderful day, evening, and night, and gone again in about five minutes. Good to see you, Samira. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. That's where we end the game, because that's our maximum. Hopefully it was a good, good grade. I don't know. Did we do well? Uh, welcome back. Let's see what you've caught, and uh, I'll let you know how you did. In the meantime, I'm interested to hear about what you thought. Uh, great. Confident in ourselves? Are we? Are we? I like that. Shall we see how you did? Let's see now. With the fish you caught, you got a score of 3,000. That ends up being a grade of good. <laughs> nice work. I prepared a little something in the way of a reward for you as well. I don't remember doing this. Hopefully it'll make you make, it'll make up for rushing around chasing fish for me. We definitely didn't do this the first time we played. Lucian manages to catch 80 pounds of fish and brings it back to storage. Okay. Uh, we will not use the knife because we have no more knife. Three fish traps? $50? Fish traps are a thing in this game? I had no idea. Thank you for trying out my challenge. Maybe I'll meet you folks further along. I can offer you a challenge once again. I hope you'll consider accepting. Farewell now. Fish traps? I didn't know that was a thing. I'm learning something new. Oh, well, this is amazing. Well then. That's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna have to like do some inventory management, am I? No, I'm not. Okay, let's, let's, how are we doing? We're still running on strenuous here, right? Continue with strenuous. Oh, Oregon bus has some different scenarios. Is that right? A musty sour odor emanates from the wagon. Uh, no, we'll just discard it. We don't need it. Get it out. Last time I discarded it was like 99 of it, but we're all, we're all, we're good. We're good. All right. Very well. The wagon jousts. Jousts. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, God. My Lord. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I gotta do a little bit of Tetris. No. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. There we go. Grace gunshot wounded has been healed. Well, that's good news for the party at least. My lord. This 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 actual party is starting to get harder and harder as we go here. Hey, Ella. Hey, Ella. Thank you for, for the re-up there, Ella. I appreciate that. For the re-up on the membership there. That was very kind. I hope you're doing good, yeah? Good to see you, Ella. And by the way, y'all, we have our live stream tomorrow. Our members live stream, members only live stream is tomorrow. We're going to be playing Jackbox all day. So 
you know, we surpassed 500 members on the channel yesterday. So there's 500 people that would are able to go ahead and jump into Jackbox tomorrow <laughs> if they so to choose. So don't forget that tomorrow at I think we're going to do 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be running with uh, Jackbox on Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow, Sunday, 10 a.m. Grace examines the hunting ground. Yeah, we'll do the hunting ground. This is an obvious hit, right? Maybe. I don't know. Do we have room for the meat? Who knows? Actually, I don't know if we will have room for the meat now thinking about it. But I'd rather change out flour than having meat, I think. Plus, we need the pelts anyways. Hey, Fane. How you doing, Fane? Bison down, baby. Oh, damn it. Get him. I got him. <laughs> Sick, dude. Yeah. A lot of those members were gifted by Amber as well. Very, very generous indeed. Grace managed to hunt 140 pounds of meat, but only had enough stamina to carry 100 pounds back to storage. So what, 40 of it was, uh, 40 of it's, like, not used? That I mean, honestly, that's fine. Wait, what the heck, a trap? We used a trap for that? Thanks to a carefully placed draft, uh, Grace also managed to retrieve 30 pounds of extra meat. Oh, well, I didn't know I was going to use the trap right then and there. Uh, right. I don't know how I feel about that. Not necessarily wanting to use the uh, trap at that moment, but that's fine, I guess. We'll gotta have a little bit of coffee. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of coffee here. I have so much bait. Can I stack these bait? Can I discard? We'll discard some of the bait. We don't need that much bait. Um. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? It's 130 meat. We'll get rid of the wheat or the flour for that. I guess we can keep the bait after that and we can keep this also. Put it right there. That's, yeah, that's a better, I like that better. Okay, now let's go for the herbs. Let's go. Still running at a strenuous pace though and eating me. Oh my God. These guys again. It's already over. We're barely out of the alcove springs and we've fallen apart. Please, you must help us reunite. None of us can make the Oregon Trail alone. We will agree to help. Yes, thank you, thank you. You'll be well served to take some clothes and medicine with you. Any of those boys are injured. They may require immediate attention on the trail. You'll find my boss, my boys, not my boss, my boys scattered across the trail at various places. I'll make my way to Blue Mountain. Please rescue as many of the dragoons as you can on your way there. Medallions. Now, the medallions actually came up very clutch with the, for us at the end of our last trek to Oregon. So, they are kind of important. They were a very good currency use, I would have to say. What happened to you, Robert? Tripping over a simple stone? God damn it. Uh, treat it with medicine. It'll be a good idea to seek further. Okay, he has a Robert broken leg. Is that what? I don't know. Right. No, he's continued with a broken leg. Okay, I see. All right. Now the wagon just got hit. This sucks. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, time for us to make decisions here. Uh, repair this. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Okay, why can I move this? Repack. Okay, no, re put this over here. Because I want to move this and put it right there. And move that there. No! Okay, discard. Okay. There we go. All right. That that works. That's fine. I don't know why it wasn't letting me go move it over. 
<clears throat> Grace spies a wounded jackrabbit limping amongst, amongst the grass. A swift gun? No, we'll leave it alone. Because we don't have enough room for that anyways. So we'll leave the rabbit alone. Leave the rabbit alone. Don't touch the rabbit. We should be almost at Fort Kearney. Very soon. Seems one of the oxen has cracked one of its hooves. Walking with a cracked hoof can lead into infection and swelling. Stopping to wash the uh, hoof would be prudent. Move to uh, prevent further trouble. Who should wash the injured foot? Robert? Oh! Oh! I thought we lost the oxen there for a sec. Okay, well, at least we know Robert's at two medical. That's good. Yeah. I watched the first video of the game today. Is this the same playthrough? It is not the same playthrough. Nope, it is not. If you watch day one, this is definitely way different. Well, not way different, but it's a different, uh, it's a harder difficulty. That we got going on here. Now the party spies a small thicket of shrubs. We will harvest. We will let, uh... Grace, Grace, Grace. Well, we can find Robert. Hey! Yanni! Yanni with the tip for good measure. Appreciate that. Look at that. Becoming a member. Big ups to you, Yanni. And uh, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Thank you for that. Hope you join us tomorrow for some Jackbox as well. Okay, so now we know Robert has no wayfinding skills. I wanted to do it just to get it out of the way. Okay, we, once we get to Fort Kearney, we are going to be spending a lot of money here and uh, repairing our, our morale, repairing our hygiene, repairing our people, all the above. Ripping over a simple bump in the ground, Grace finds herself in the dust, of course. Now, actually, we'll go ahead and take a hit here and we'll go steady pace now at a filling ration. That's what we'll do. Love your videos and channel. I appreciate that, Yanni. That was very kind. Thank you for that. And thank you for the kind words as well. Yeah. I wager I cannot even hit, hit even more. Grace challenges the party to a shooting contest. The prairie dogs seem none of the wiser. Let the sleeping dogs die. This is something we haven't done before either. We're going to push on. We don't have time to do a challenge right now. We're kind of in a little bit of a spicy state as it is. I thought the wagon was on fire. Could you imagine it just blowing up again? Gosh darn it, dude. Don't take nitroglycerin. I, I mean, that's one thing. Just don't take nitroglycerin. All right. We are finally here. We have $248. We shall. We shall. Fix ourselves. <laughs> when checking the flower, Lucy notices some of it's uh, waterlogged. All right, we'll discard that. That's fine. Got <clears throat> here 500 members? Over 500 members. Yeah, over 500 members. Pretty crazy. So the morale goes up because we eat a little bit more, um, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, so ahead, a cluster of buildings is laid out in a square about four acres wide, surrounding a copse of cottonwood trees. As the wagon approaches, the sound of lively bustling comes into earshot. You arrive at the fort. Who would you like to heal? Uh, Robert. Collect meat, collect pelts. So we got coffee and we got medicine for that. That's really good. Really, really good. Congratulations, your party has reached Fort Kearney. So that's our first leg. That's one leg out of five. It took us 22 days to do that. One leg out of five. So here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the services. And we're going to do health and take care of Maggie. We will pay for the treatment. Um, we will not restore the health. And then we will do Robert next. There we go. We won't, rest we won't restore the health either. 
And then we will go to the barber shop and we'll give Lucian a little bit of hygiene. $5 for Lucian. We won't do anybody else. So that leaves us with $183. Something rather. Talk to the people real quick. Harold. Travelers, it's good to see some new faces on this trail. I hope your journey is going well. We've only had a few ourselves. A few issues ourselves. Ah, yes. This is Ava's father, isn't it? Yeah, keep an eye out after Ava. Tell them about Ava. Um, You know what? I'm actually going to go the other way with this. I'm going to actually tell them about Ava. I'm going to see what happens if I go against Ava and, you know, see how that story goes. What? You saw her and she's out there alone? The trail is no place for a woman alone. I must find her. Thank you for the information, travelers. She will know her place. Please, if you see her, you must implore her to abandon her ways and come back to her family. We'll assist Harold this time. Oh, 25 flowers. Oh, already, already paying off. Oh, well, thank you, kind travelers. I hope one of you, uh, one of us can find her and uh, shows her reason she will know her place. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. for the over 500 members. What a hell of a party tomorrow is going to be. Thank you, Fitrad. My goodness gracious. With a generous super chat. That was very, very kind of you. Very kind of you indeed. On behalf of Danielle and I, we say thank you very much, Fitrad. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, and thank you for the congratulations on the 500 members. Uh, oh yeah, anybody that's going to show up tomorrow, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of good fun. Absolutely. Thank you for that fit, right? That was super kind to you. Danielle is, uh, where is she now? <laughs> today is her, today is Danielle's Friday, so she's excited to come home uh, tonight for sure. She goes actually out of town here in the next couple weeks. She has a business trip soon. Thank you, kind travelers. I hope one of us can find her and show her her reason, right? And put her in her place. Yeah, thank you. William Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, are you tired of hitching your wagon to an odorous for odor odoriferous odoriferous pack of oxen? What if I told you there's a better way, a new mode of transportation that will change your life forever? Now this is the 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 other like he's going up against Samuel, right? Forget everything you know about traveling by wagon train. What I propose is nothing less than a total of revolution in overland travel. And how is that possible, you say? He pauses for dramatic effect. My Overland Navigation Company will take all the guest work uh, out of westward travel. Why? All you need to do is rent a seat on one of my fantastic inventions and pack your finest clothes. I, William Thomas, will take care of everything else. And what is this invention, I hear you ask? I imagine, if you imagine if you will, a grand fleet of prairie schooners, 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 all operating on wind power. Yes, you heard that, right? Wind power. It carried our forebears across the Atlantic Ocean, and now it will, sh it will, or it shall carry you across the continent. There's plenty of wind on the prairie. I say, why not make use of it? Now, all I need uh, is to build the first prototype in a small investment. Now, I could mention Samuel, which I did last time, or I could tell him about the investors. That would go against Samuel, of course. That would go against Samuel. I kind of want to go the other route on this too. Just to see what happens. We'll mention the investors. Invest investors in Julesburg, you say? Why, that's exactly what I need to make my dream a reality. I'm fortunate indeed to have run into you. I wonder if you might be willing to talk to these investors for me. You can tell them about my exciting opportunity. The public has not been very receptive for the idea thus far, and I cannot afford to keep lodging here at Fort Kearney. Very well. Keep an eye on the oxen. One is poorly treated by your messy companion. Is that right? Hang on a second. I gotta take a look at this. <gasps> How dare you. How dare you. Actually, hang on a sec. Let's actually use some of this real quick. There we go. Okay, we'll push that over there. Push that there. There we go. Good. Okay. Um, Jane. Oh, Mom, Mom, look. It's the people from before. So it is, Mary. Hold there, travelers. I'm glad to meet our saviors again. Thanks to you, our wagon was able to make it here in one piece. It stood the test of the 
tested the prairies and carried us to safety. Truly, your carpentry skills are inspiring. Mom, tell him about the gift. Hush, Mary, I will. My daughter stressed that we should repay your kindness. And I wouldn't want to disappoint her. Please take this. Jane hands the party a small wrapped gift. Harmonica, hope it serves you well. It was my daughter's idea. It's come to say farewell yet again, my friends. Thank you once more for saving us. I pray you arrive safely at your next destination. Um, now, these guys, we don't really need to talk too much to, right? Yeah. There's not much we can talk too much about. Hey, Ween Miss, how you doing? <clears throat> yeah, so for to, to treat the um, oxen, right? To treat the oxen, you have to run a... Hang on a sec. Let me, first of all, figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of this stuff. I have a lot of stuff here. I think I have a lot of... I might have to trade a few things. I have a lot of stuff. Now, to treat the oxen, you would run, run at a steady pace, right? And, um... Like... That's one way to treat the oxen. Make sure the oxen isn't overworked, right? There's not, like, a... Is there an action to do for the oxen? Is there a blacksmith or stable option? You need to see a blacksmith? Okay, so I need to see a blacksmith to work on the... On them? Is that right? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Damage, 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 damage. That's just for the wagon, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I guess the head down, right? The head down would be um, the one in the front. The heal on resting pasture graze. That's what I thought. Okay. So we'll just have to go at a steady, uh, steady, uh, steady pace, and then we'll rest and all that, which we will. Which we have yet to do yet. So, let's go ahead and look at trade. Real quick. And we'll look at uh, supplies. One oxen, coffee, traps, medicine, flour. Very good. Decent stuff. I'll look at the store real quick. So, how much does it cost for us if we wanted to go big route? Five fifty. Five fifty For the uh, George Costanza wagon. So, that's ultimate goal. Will I get there? I, I honestly don't know if I will. Be able to get there? I do want to get shirts, though. I do want to get uh, grease as well. So, okay. There's a few things I want. And then wagon. Uh, let's go ahead and trade a few things if we can. Trade supplies. There's not much I can really trade here. Uh, offers three medicine. What will you take? Take 50 bait. We will haggle. See if you take a little bit less bait. I mean, I have a lot of bait, honestly. I could get give out or give away some of it. 45 bait is like almost our whole stack. Mm. 25. To, oh, no, we have... Uh, how much do we have? We have 60 bait. And then we'll have two bottles of medicine, which we already have three. So we'll have three bottles of medicine. We already have a three stack. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, what we'll do instead is we will reconsider. And we will sell fish. And we will haggle. And we will let Maggie do the haggling. F. All right, well. But we will sell the fish. Sell all 58 fish. There you go. $58 in our pocket. That then gives us a little bit more working space here. Right. It does. I still want to get rid of the... God, I wish I had a bigger, uh, bigger wagon. Because I want to get wheel grease. And I want to get, um, toolboxes as well. Yeah. I guess I could sell my, my, my pelts too. But I feel like the pelts are very valuable going forward. I have a lot of coffee. I wish I could just sell the coffee. This trap, though? 
takes so much space. Like, can I get rid of that? Even this trap, fish trap and uh, game trap, pick up a lot of space. Do I need that? I don't think I do. I don't think I can sell it, can I? Can I actually sell stuff at the store? Will you let me uh, sell stuff here? No? I just don't, I feel like I don't need two traps. I don't feel like I need this eight piece of flour either. What if I kept the fish trap, got rid of the game trap? Since I can sell fish at a pretty penny. I could do that. And then get rid of those two. I think that's what I do. Yeah, I think that's what I do. Keep the fish trap. You get a knife. You will catch a ton of fish and then make a ton of money off of it. Yeah. I feel like that's the way we go. I think we keep the fish trap, get rid of the flower, get rid of the um, traps. Then we can go, uh, you know, elsewhere on that. So, what if we go keep shopping? Then I can get the stuff I want. Which is the knife. He only has one knife. And then I can get... These. How many he has? He has three of those. Maybe I can get a couple of those. He has three of those. I might not use all of them. I'm just throwing them all in the thing just to see if it will work. And then like t-shirts. Let's see. View the wagon. Okay, so that doesn't all work very well. Um, I don't need that much wheel grease. I feel like I don't need that much. Well, this is what I'll do. Well, actually, $87. I do want the t-shirts. Again, I think I just have way too much bait. You get rid of the bait, trade 10 bait for another hit of wheel grease. I think that's what I do. Yeah. I think I do this. I'll come back for the shirts. So I'll pay 104 for that. And then what I'll do is I'll repair. And then go back in. I'll repair. Boom, boom, boom. Even though I could have done this through the blacksmith. 100, blacksmith 100%. I'll do that. I'll use the three up there. And then what I'll do is I will go back to the store. Sorry. I'll go back to the store and buy um, the t-shirts. And maybe one more box of tools. Okay, so t-shirts are in. Maybe not. We'll keep the t-shirts. Three boxes of tools doesn't seem like a lot. But I think it will do fine with three greases a wheel. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is fine. 55. And then I'll use the greases pretty often. Well, I mean, obviously, right? That's what we do. Hey, Molly Joe. How you doing? Happy Saturday to my fave foreheads. How you doing, Molly Joe? How you doing? How's it going? Good to see you. We will rest. We'll take a look at the trade. Um... And see what kind of trades we have for us, too. Ah. Okay. Oxen recovered. Good Good news. What are you offering for those three toolboxes? Yeah, we do this. Haggle. 
Maggie. Good job. Give him some bait. Perfect. That worked out. That worked out indeed. All right. I think we're set. Check our party. Why is Grace acting like a Grace? Why is her health like that? Might be a morale thing. I don't know. Attitude. Maybe she's copping an attitude on us. Couldn't tell you. But I think this is good. We depart. Oh, yo, yo. All right. Let's do it. Now, we will not... We will not go to... I know the investor, you know, whatever he's going to do. The, 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 the sail across the damn world. F all that noise. We're going straight to Courthouse Rock. Restore Grace's hygiene and we get one medical. Avoid contracting dys dysentery. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. Okay, we have... Meat, question mark, dragoon. I'm going for the dragoon. I'm going for the medallions. We will run on filling... In a steady pace, as the party leaves, clearing behind their minds, wandered to those who are yet to follow. How many more will brave the trail following in their footsteps? Repack. Now we will use this repair. We'll go boom, 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 and boom. Perfect. And we will leave these behind. Whoever wants them, they can have them. Y'all can have it. Discard. Now, we will also now put on a grease wheel. <clears throat> we will continue. What is that? That's uh, called the bush of berries. Mr. Lucian, I think, is who said that, asked that question. Grace stops by the side of the trail. Organ grapes. Grace plucks some in hopes of treating future illnesses. Some more herbal remedies. That's good. What is our quest for this? Restore Grace's hygiene? Well, I mean, honestly, we could do that right now, probably. To save us. There we go. That saves us more room. That gives us, yeah, a little bit more room. All right, continue. Look at that beautiful wagon. That isn't going to blow up, right? <laughs> Halt, fellows. Homer, you shall go no further. To continue on, you must assist me. I forgot this one. I, I remember a little bit. I don't remember what we get out of it. We'll accept the assist. Oh, yeah, the story. I knew you would see reason. Tell me, what event during the travels uh, has been the most important? One full of intrigue and pathos. Catching a fish that was this big. Who should tell the story? Maggie. Good job, Maggie. See, it is truth. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man is in possession of a good fortune. Must be in want of a wife. Wait, what? See, it is... A truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. Many a tale has been told about the enormity, enormity, enormity of a fish. Yeah, enor enormous, right? I mean, we, we caught a fish. I don't think it was enormous. I don't think it was that big, but I guess we're lying our asses off here. It does give us a good party morale overall, so that's good. That's the first line of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, hunting. Checking. Meat. Accepting. Grace. Get out there. Go do it. Hey, AKJM. How you doing? Wanted to pop in and say happy birthday to Chibi if she's here. Have a great Sunday. Thank you, AKJM. JM. That was very kind of you. Good to see you. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, happy birthday, right? Happy birthday to Chibi. Chibi left though, right? Chibi is not here, but... My god. I needed to say happy birthday to Chibi. Frick. Okay, that's, that's decent meat there. I'll have to say happy birthday to Chibi when I see him and the, see them in the in the uh, in the Discord, baby. She wanted you to sing to her. Are you just being serious? Did she say that today? Chibi will be back later for a song. Oh shit. We will use a knife with all those that we did. Twelve pelts. That's incredibly a lot. Uh, right. We'll go straight to dragoons. See if we can repack this a little bit better. Perfect. Continue. Y'all messing with me? Y'all better not be messing with me. Funny if you tell them the truth, he calls you a liar. <laughs> we left the independence. Oh, you are a liar. How dare you? Abadai, Abadai. Oh, I know you're that group that our idiot captain sent after us. Hmm, I won't lie. Traveling alone has been boring. Let's play a little game. I'll challenge you to a battle of wits. If you could answer a few questions of mine correctly, I'll join the party. I'll rejoin the party, I guess. Good, let's get started. Slayer of regrets, old and new, sought by many, found by few. What am I? Okay, I need help from chat 100% here. <laughs> uh. Slayer of regrets. Is that redemption? Hey, Colin with the rose, super sticker rose. Thank you for that, Colin. Appreciate that. That's redemption, right? Thank you. Thank you, Colin. Hope you're doing well. Ah, yes, correct. Let's try another, shall we? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body. But come alive with wind. What am I? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. A echo? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but come alive with wind. When am I? No, that's something else. Echo? Oh, is that what Chibi said? Is that what Chibi said in the in the in the in the Discord, Echo? That was the second time she mentioned the first is too far to back scroll. Correct! Let's try another. What breaks and never falls, and what falls and never breaks? The wind, right? <laughs> Shoot, dude. These were easier than I thought, right? Just to clarify, though, just to double check with the chat. Chat is the wiki source of the channel here. Well, sometimes, let's be real. Oh, day and night? Oh. Oh, look at that! The good thing I did check with my wiki. Not bad at all, strangers. Well, fine. I'll prepare. I'll prepare here for a minute, then meet up with the captain. Maybe I was thinking, like, breaking wind or something. Why would I think that? Well, it's, uh, uh, uh. All right, steady. Keep it going. To the fish. I wanted to pick win last time. See, I think it's just me with like break and win. I don't know, like that, like something. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just about that life, I guess. F me, right? There we go. There we go. There and there. Good. Send it. God, this guy. Ah, clutching his abdomen, the man winch, winces in as he looks up at the party's approach. Travelers, saying goodness you've come. Please, you must help. I need to deliver my mochila, uh, the saddlebag. I ride the Pony Express. Ah, yes, we will treat the rider first. Who should treat? Robert. I don't think last time we could have treat this guy. I think last time we failed it. Hey! Colin! 
Thank you for gifting a membership. I just ran out of focus there. Thank you for gifting a membership to Carrie. Yeah. On behalf of Carrie, we say thank you, Colin. Thank you, Colin. Appreciate that. I appreciate it. Well, Pony Bob. <laughs> Pony Bob. Pony Bob appreciates it, too. <laughs> Once I've handed off the delivery, I shall rest up and wait. Please make your way to the station when you can. I would like to reward you properly for assisting me today. Oh, very good. <laughs> Alright, we will now... Uh, do... Yes. Hygiene for you, my good man. Hygiene for you. Everybody go around and around and around. Every freaking go around. Um. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously, when we want to do this, we want to get money. We need money, 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 money. Right? This is going to be a good little uh, hit here. Now that we have the hunting knife, it definitely does make a difference on the run, I feel like. Another difference on the run, too, to think about is, um, <clears throat> is the fact that we don't have to... Uh, well, not that it was like a bad thing, but... We don't have to really worry too much about doing, like, going to Julesburg. Because we've already done that story, you know? We don't have to unlock that mission, finish that mission, or whatever it might be, right? So we can kind of, like, keep on the beaten path here. And kind of focus and not use so many resources, you know? And all that. Does that make any sense? We can stay on our path to, uh, to Oregon. Which I think is going to help us in the long run. Until, like, Catastrophe hits, of course. But so far... You know, I don't want to, like... <laughs> I don't want to, like, you know... Getting my hat too tall here. Tall hat, top hat, big hat, big britches, anything. Um, I feel like we're coasting. I feel like we're coasting right now, yeah. I feel like we're coasting. Here we go. Ooh. Hey, you know that that one looks like a, like a fatter one right there. Knock on wood, so good f so far, right? Yeah, I know, right? Straight as run as possible. That's basically what I'm sitting at right now. Like all the stories that we've done before, we're all good, but I'm definitely in it for um for keeping on the straight path here and not detouring too much because we got to survive i want to get i the ultimate goal i really want these four survivors to actually show up to oregon minus a fish trap plus 20 fish 115 fish i don't use a knife here because i already got a lot of fish from that so i'm not going to waste a, a knife use on that but i will take a look at our inventory here because i can't imagine it's doing so hot yep it is doing exactly what i thought it would it's being a little harsh here uh right now fish, this is a lot of fish. This is this is a lot of fish for me to ignore. Right? I can't ignore this. I could get rid of some pelts for this. I could use this, obviously. We will use some grease first. How's our party morale? I think our morale's pretty much good. Yeah. Hey Lou, how you doing, Lou? Lou mind? Not a bad four either, as far as things go, based on the previous travels. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I could repair that. Whoops. This is a little bit tough to do here. Very tough. Um, that'd be a waste of coffee. I might have to pick and choose. Do I want fish or do I want pelts? That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to pick and choose that. Do I want fish or do I want pelts?
I would have to give up 13 pelts for 135 fish. Get rid of the trap. I could do that. Probably a better idea, right? There we go. Get those traps out of here. Onward! Onward! That was pretty good. I think that's the best uh, option that we had there. Leave those traps behind. Too much, uh, too much space. Too much space indeed. No, no, no fish. We're good on the fish. Thank you. <laughs> We're good on the fish. What the heck is going on here? Oh, campsite. Ah, can we learn? Can we talk stories? Yeah. Set up camp. Tell stories so we can learn each other's like... Yeah, tell stories. There we go. We learn people's uh, skills there. Onward. We could have washed up, but nah. We're good. We don't need to wash up. Our hygiene's pretty much good. 124 days till winter. Uh-oh, what's happening? Really one mile out? Uh, one mile out. Can we just, like, press on? Robert Messi reveals, uh, revels in the mess, finding the coating of mud and dirt quite invigorating. <laughs> you dirty, you dirty Bob. Dirty, dirty Bob. Damn it, Bob. After some time, the rain begins to clear and all the ground begins to dry. The party can continue. I mean, honestly, we were one mile out. I think the party could have continued regardless. Any more rivers? We should, yeah, there should be plenty more rivers in the future for sure. I don't know how this could be done with the wind wagon when you need all the space you can get. The only thing I can really guess is if the wind wagon really hauls ass. <laughs> like it just like goes super fast and blows through everything. What's my favorite ice cream flavor? Um If I ever go to like Cold Stone, I'm always getting the same thing. I go for the cake batter, Cold Stone. If I'm at the grocery store, I'm going for the like mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Are those the ancient stones of a ruined castle jutting from the earth? No. They are courthouse and jail uh, courthouse and jail rocks. Noted landmarks of decidedly nat natural origin. So we got those. We got a harmonica. We got another medicine. I think we're doing decent. We will trade. Great supplies. Toolboxes. Haggle. Maggie. Good job, Maggie. Give him some bait. Actually, hang on a sec. Uh, frick. Um, yes. Bait. Toolboxes. Then what we'll do is we will sell fish. Haggle, Maggie, okay, and then we will run with 25 fish, 50 fish, we'll sell 50 fish for $100, I have a lot of food, I do have a lot of food, don't I, well, not so much anymore, um, 25 more fish. Reconsider. Sell pelts. Haggle. Maggie. Damn it. Sell three pelts. 
sell one pelt, one pelt, to make it five pelts to open up a slot. Perfect. That's what we'll do. Reconsider. Back. 200, almost $250. We will rest. There we go. I think our oxen are pretty decent, too. I, I mean, we've been running at a steady pace this entire time. We will go... Uh, close. Okay. We will hit... Uh, some grease. Yep, yeah, put some grease on that. Please and thank you. And... Uh, let's see. Our oxen are good. Yeah. Food. I think we're decent. I think we're ready to depart. I could have checked the trade. I definitely could have, but I didn't. Hey, good morning, Faith. How you doing, Faith? Faith Gaming, how you doing? You like some cold stone? I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Same. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Vanilla orange. I do like a creamsicle, you know, like the 50-50 uh, the bars. Any like, I love the 50-50 bars. That's good stuff right there. A tall sandstone rock formation that can be seen for miles. Collect herbs to get $49. Reach the settlement in four days. So let's see if we can get there in four days. Estimated travel time, two days. Easy. Collect herbal remedies. Go there. Let's continue. I'm feeling super confident about this run. Right now. I am. Um, Grace, upon checking the bags of flour, finds the mold has begun to grow in one of them. We will discard the 50 flour. Very well. We might need to change our rations. Hopefully we can find food stuff. Oh, there's our boy. Samuel, oh, it's you. Listen, I'm not really in the mood to talk right now. I tried building my wind wagon without any funding, but it was a complete disaster. Uh-oh. We get to see this kind of, uh, this, this take here. I don't think I'm cut out for this investor business after all. All my dreams have come crashing down, just like my flying machine prototype. Maybe I'll see you again in the future. Feet firmly planted on the ground. Oh, okay, so you can complete this either way. All right, whether you help them or not help them. Interesting. Have you ever have you ever had mint chocolate panda paws? I have not. I don't even know what panda paws is. Uh, Grace, take that for for us, please. Thank you, Grace. Three herbs. I think that's exactly what we needed. I think for our quest. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's our quest? Yeah, collect herbs. Yeah. R arrive within a day, we're gonna get more more cash. Like a hundred more dollars. Yep. Uh, Mang says, when are you streaming Nobody the Turnaround again? When there are updates. Yes, when there's another story for it. We will, when the next story, when the next story comes out, I'll stream that again, probably. Hey, crazy one. How you doing, crazy one? So thirsty. The party's water supply has run low. If it's not refilled before too long, dehydration and death could be a result. No, no, no. We're right here at the... We're right outside. No, no. We're right outside the camp. Continue without the water. We're right here. Honestly, we're right here. Two miles out. Panda Paws have... Panda Paws ice cream has like peanut butter cup paws. What the heck? I have to look into that. I've never heard of that. I'll have to look into that for sure. Towering stone spire erupts from the earth ahead. Good. So there we go. An additional $97. Very good. We will trade. I don't really need to talk to everybody here, I don't think. Uh, trade supplies. I think more toolboxes would be nice. For that though, I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll see. Maybe, possibly. Interesting. Uh, we will rest. We will rest. 
I guess I could sell you some herbs. Herbs wouldn't be bad. Party morale is getting good on the harmonica, stamina. I mean, really, we have good stuff when it comes to that. I guess we have really good stuff even with this, too. We still have four boxes on us. We don't have any grease on us, however. We're running low on meat. We have plenty of bullets, plenty of bait. I think we rest. We'll rest. You love cold stone as well? Party morale goes up because they're eating quite a bit of food. Let's be real here. See if the trades are different. Are different. Are they worth it? Not 100%. Could sell some more fish if we really wanted to. We're not going to. And I think we depart. We'll depart. And I think what I'll do is I'll change my rations until further notice. To Fort Laramie. Collect meat, collect pelts. Very well. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Meager. Four days. If we go at strenuous, it will be three days. We'll go at steady pace. We will go meet. That's the route we'll go. We're rolling, baby. We are. We're rolling. This is it. We're feeling good until we run out of grease. Once we run out of grease, we're screwed. Looks like a campsite here. Greetings, travelers. What brings you to this Pony Express station? Ah, Pony Bob, station master. These travelers are the kind folks that healed me. It's only due to their aid that I was able to arrive here at all. They deserve a reward. So, these are the folks that saved my best rider. Bob helped upset, help set up the Pony Express and completed a legendary ride of over 40 hours. He's one of the best riders. It would be a serious blow to the entire Pony Express if we were to lose him. Please take this, travelers. You deserve it. I've been horseback, I've been, uh, horseback riding multiple times. I could never imagine riding a horse for like... A long amount of period. Like, that would hurt after a while. A hundred dollars? You're too kind. You're too kind, but I'm glad to be here. I should be ready to ride again by morning. It would be remiss to put you back into work so soon. You rest up. Your machilla will be taken care of. Was there anything else you'd like to know? Talk to Pony Bob? I'll be all right, Travelers. Thanks for your help, of course. Don't listen to the Station Master too much. I'm not that special. It's just my job. All right. Safe travels. Wow. $446. We're like... We're only like $54 off from actually getting the new wagon if we really wanted to go that route. Oh, God. Little Mary. Dad, look. It's the people from before. Uh, we'll see, sweetheart. Uh, we'll see, sweetheart. Hello, though, travelers. It's you on you. Are you sure you're not Pony Bob? <laughs> it's unusual that we meet again. Perhaps it's divine intervention or simply luck. Say, I wonder if you might do us a favor. I know it's asking a lot, but we're already in your debt. But would you like to help us make a birthday present for little Mary? She'll be five years old this year, but the present we bought for her went missing while we were stranded. Um, who should help design Little Mary's doll? Maggie. Maggie Shao. After a few hours of sewing, Maggie and Jane uh, finish making a doll for Little Mary. It's a lovely looking doll made from the finest fabrics that Maggie could find. There you go. Well, now, this is a charming little thing you've made. Little Mary will be over the moon when she sees it. Until her, you know, unfortunate fate reaches her. Uh, yes. We shall do this. Yep. We shall go hunting. Maybe Bob has a thick ass for a cushion. Yeah! He might. He might have. He might be packing something. You know, back there. <laughs> you never know. Got you. 
Running low on bullets, though. We might need to get some bullets. Maybe she'll live. You fix the their wagon this time. Oh, did I not fix her wagon last time? Got you. Frickin' A, dude. I'm a good shot. Hey, Lemur. How you doing, Lemur? Hundred and twenty five meat. I will use the uh yeah. Oh I don't have enough room though. Uh right. Um We don't use the knife. We don't use a knife. No reason to use a knife, but we'll get the seven pelts, regardless. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll go here because we have no freaking choice there. <clears throat> we will discard the pelts, I think, because there's nothing really much we can do. We have a full trunk of just crap. We'll discard that. We can round up $54 and buy... Well, I mean, really... Do we spend all our entire load on a new thing? Maybe, yeah. The party approaches the dilapidated, wind-blown wagon. Uh, really, there's not much we can do with it anyways. Our wagon's too full. Let's not even worry about it. We'll switch over to filling here. Take a look at how much food we have, how much fish we have. We have quite a bit of fish. We'll go to fish and fish it out. Oh no, not the wagon and bring to another sucker sucker son of a son of sucker tash. Continue. We will fish. Uh, yep, Lucian's fine. It's one of those, this is how harsh the trail was stories. Yeah, I think you're probably right about that. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Suffering succotash. Sylvester. Suffering succotash. Give it to me. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Can I actually go all the way out there? I guess I can, yeah. It's a tiny little fish, but I got it. <laughs> with a little spittle. I will not embarrass myself with the spittle. The fucking thing. Fuck a path. Okay, I just embarrassed myself with the spittle. Fuck Fuck a path. Come on now. Come on, you got it! Thank you. Now, I don't think the fish gives us like a morale boost. Like the good stuff does. Like the herbs and the mushrooms or whatever the heck that, that's all about. This one doesn't have a whirlpool around it. Okay, that's gone. All right, all right. It's gonna be the last fish, probably. That's it, right? No, another one? Alright. Do it for another one. Sylvester and Daffy were your favorites. <laughs> Who's the real duck? Who's the real duck? Honestly. Is it Daffy Duck or is it Donald Duck? Who's the who's the real duck? Okay, let's give uh, what's his face a nice little T-shirt, shall we? Ninety-five, 
fish. Uh, we could step away or we could walk away with a, quite a bit of fish. I don't know what the max um, cap is on fish. So I'm going to not use the knife and save it. Daffy was the real duck. You think so? Daffy the real duck, not Donald the real duck. I have to agree, probably. Daffy Duck was pretty legit. There's only one movie that you see Daffy Duck and Donald Duck uh, go at it against each other, I think. It's a live action movie. Live action. I'm sure you know. Maybe people know. Daffy Duck, Donald Duck. They go at it against each other in a piano contest. It was a movie filmed in the 80s. It's the only time you'll ever see like Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse in the same frame talking about. The knife doesn't wear out on fish. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. That's good to know. I did not know the knife doesn't wear out on fish. That's wonderful to know. That's going to help us out then. Uh, let's go. Well, actually, we don't need to do anything here, right? No, we don't need to do anything here. Uh, entering the fort, you've arrived. Who would you like to heal? Um, I guess Grace? There we go. One coffee, one medicine. Yeah. Daffy's the only duck who doesn't wear clothes, so he must be real. Well, t to be fair, though, Donald Duck doesn't wear any pants. Morton. There you go, Morton. You got that. Morton got it. One of my favorite movies. I'm sure you all, all know. Uh, Donald Duck doesn't wear pants. But when he gets out of the shower, he wraps a towel around his waist. So I don't know what that's all about. Lewis Southworth. You going west, dude? James is taking me to Oregon, despite the laws saying black folk like me can't settle there. Too bad he sold my fiddle before we left. It was the best friend I ever had. Oh, I like this story. I was hoping to raise some money by playing at forts to pay James for my freedom. I could play you a song that would set your foot to tapping, that's for sure. Or my name's not Lewis Southworth. This is a real person, too, I think, as well. Yeah, this is a real person indeed. We'll offer to help. If you're offering to buy me a new fiddle, I won't say no. Uh, actually, we'll turn them down. Nice talking to you. Maybe we'll see each other again one day when we reach Oregon. It's kind of sad, but I've already done that quest, too. You don't wear pants? Does that mean you're not wearing clothes in general? Well, no, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> hey, Anna Mama, how you doing, Anna Mama? How you doing? Good to see you. Let's see here. Take a look at the party. I mean, they could use some, like, hygiene, but other than that, they're in pretty well... Well, shape here. We can sell a. We can do this. We can get a. New, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get a brand new uh, cart. Damn it! We're gonna get a brand new cart. Hmm. Fifty fish gives us fifty dollars. Would have gave us a hundred dollars. Uh, we'll sell some pelts too. Haggle. Maggie. I should use Grace. Okay, well, Maggie worked out. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's sell, like, 10 pelts. 60 bucks. Okay, we can afford the new wagon. I think we should do it. Honestly, I think we should. Oh, it went up in price, you sons of bitches. Oh, the farther you get out west, the more prices go up and up and up. Uh, and it takes four oxen, or you can't have four oxen. Oy, oy, oy. Well, it is possible to still do this. It's just, it's going to cost us a lot of resources to do it. That's the only thing. Shall I do it? Should I do it? Yeah. Shall I do it? 
I can do it. I can make it happen, but it's going to cost us some pelts. I think I should. Let's do it. 10 pelts. We'll sell a little bit more fish. $25 worth of fish. We'll do that. We have enough. Oh, it's blue too? Oh, that's really cool. Select that. I want that. I also want this too. Give me that. Give me two of those. Ooh, baby. Perfect. I, I think I like this. Yeah, look at that fat son of a gun. That is good. That's a, that's a big wa That's a nice wagon. Yeah, I... I yep. Yep. Confirm, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is the first time ever we've had an upgraded wagon. Now we can actually add... Oh, we have four oxens now. Oh, good. Now we have four oxens. Yes. We shall rest. We do not have enough to seek lodge. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. All right. Here we go. Woo. I know. We should be able to sell our old wagon, though. Like, what, what is this? Is it like a trade-in value? So is this thing worth more than 600 then? Okay. I think we're ready to depart. That was our second leg down, right? I think, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe not. Depart. We're ready to go. Now what we need to do is put some grease on it as well. Yeah, I guess the ox did come with the... Um, with the new, uh, new, yeah, that was another leg, huh? Yeah, leg three now. This is our third leg. Yeah, that, that, uh, that we did, that wagon did come with a free ox. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Independence Rock. We're going to go Parting Ways. We're going to go Green River, Soda Springs, Fort Hall. We're going to skip all of the Green River South and the Fort Bridger because we're not doing the, uh, the music quest or anything like that. We're just getting to Oregon. Collect herbal remedies and collect pelts. Okay, we will go here. And then I will go grease me. And we will continue. Now, wait a sec. Let's go at a strenuous pace. Grueling pace? Let's go at a grueling pace. We have a lot of coffee. So, oh, damn it. All right. Find another way around. Grace. Good job, Grace. Now, if we had nitroglycerin, we could have blew those uh, rocks up for sure. So we're going to go at a grueling pace. And hopefully take care of our oxen in the process as well. Ah, the mushrooms. These are good stuff, though. Inspect them. Grace will inspect them. Hygiene down. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, dang it, Grace. Come on now. Grace is unsure of exactly what the mushrooms are, but decides that they are probably dangerous. She's, she suggests leaving them behind. Damn it, Grace. Yeah, there's a big hit on our energy, rightfully so. A white bison! A sacred sign. That's like the fifth white bison we've seen. We will harvest. Grace will do it too. Don't fail us, Grace. Good job, Grace. Two herbal remedies. I was hoping some food stuff, but that's fine. She trips on her way back to the damn wagon. <laughs> she loses one. <laughs> All right. Go to the dragoons. Oh, God. I forgot about the murder thing. Uh, a murder mystery thing. Probably going to have to run into that again, aren't we? The ox snort seemingly satisfied with Maggie's attempt to tend its injury. One ox recovered. Okay, very good. We got to take care of our ox. Okay. 
Wagon grease has expired. We'll use more here soon. Greetings, strangers. Robert Moore. You may be my ride. I knew the captain would come through for me. Just drop off. Drop me off at Independence Rock if you'd please. Let's go. Uh, sorry, are you gonna... What? Pardon me. Oh, okay. Without waiting for a reply, the strange annoying man cr uh, crams himself into the wagon. Luckily, we have a big wagon now. Then let's go here. <laughs> there he is. Good for him. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. More wheel, uh, wheel grease. Since we're going at a fast pace here. Uh, we could take a hit of coffee, too, if we really wanted to. That still would be a waste, I feel like. How's our party morale? I think our party morale is fantastic. Herbal remedies? Nope, we're okay. Continue, I guess, to the herbs. Not the herb sims in the city. Like, herbs as in, like, herbs. Herbals. I don't... I don't remember what this guy... Did we help him last time? I can't really remember what we did for him. I guess so, right? I think... I thought we were like... Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the Bellas. Hey, Bella. Approach the dog. Absolutely. Uh, Maggie will do it. Good dog. Feed the dog? Absolutely. Feed the dog. We booted him last time. Okay, that's what it is. We booted him. Give him five meat. Munch, munch, baby. Happy wolf. Pet the dog. Happy wolf. Lick. Pour on the hygiene. Ask where the owner is. I'm your owner now. I can't we take the dog. I want to take the dog with us. And the dog leaves. We leave the dog behind. <laughs> can trade? Can we trade the guy since he became our in our inventory? That'd be hilarious. The last time I discarded him because you had no room. Okay, that's what I thought. This is gonna be the first time I got this. Can we go any faster? Hey, quiet down, Mister. I don't know your name. What's your name again? What's your name? Robert Moore. Shut the hell up. Can we go any faster? I'm going at a grueling pace right now. The party sp uh, spies a small thicket of shrubs. Grace, help me out. Don't trip coming back. Thank you, Grace, for leveling it up. And six bullets were found. That's really good, Grace. Okay, you made up for your uh, for your troubles last time. Which dragoon? Doesn't really matter. We'll go with one of them. There you go. Winter is coming, by the way. Yeah, so just remember that. Now we could definitely use, if we wanted to, take a nice pop at this, which we will. We'll take a pop of the coffee. There we roll, there we roll, there we roll. Whew. Good to see, good to see. Oh, crap, Robert. You need a little bit of clothing on you, don't you? Change out your clothes, good big guy. There we go. Large irregular mount. Oh no, we're, we're skipping this. No deers. Nope, we we'll leave it. We don't need it. We leave it, baby. This is a confident bunch of people here. Hey, Gen X Gamer, how are you? I've not caught a stream since before you came to Florida. How was the trip? It was okay. It was definitely okay. It was okay. Um, yeah, but it's good to see you, Gen X. How you doing? Hope everything's going well. Hope your channel's going well as well. Yeah, yeah. Ox is sad. Okay, very good. Good, 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 good point out there. We're going to have to slow it down with the ox. Damn the murder. There's been a murder. I can't remember who did it. Does it, Do, do you all remember who did it? Was it Marshall? Does anyone remember? We spent like 30, 40 minutes on this thing last time. And it's not happening again. It was Marshall. Marshall, really? I don't think there's a wrong answer here, huh? Oh, shit. I remember. I forgot all of this. 
His writing sample was right-handed, though, and he and, and as far as we could tell, the killer is left-handed. Um, not right-handed, right? Or am 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 directs am am directsis am a direct am a. He faked being right-handed. Okay, so he's not right-handed. Bruise? Do you have any evidence? Bruise. Oh, I see. Kellogg's bruise was on the right side of his face and Marshall's was on his left hand. Therefore, when he hit Kellogg, he swung with his left hand. Still, this isn't much to go on, for one. Marshall has small feet. No prints of his size were found in the... Uh, this was the... Was it muddy? Was it muddy? Um, was it raining? It was raining at the time? I suppose that could add up, but if it hadn't been rain damage, why did the killer Marshall, as you claim, leave the letter? Um, he was interrupted. He was interrupted. I see. The killer was interrupted when Kellogg returned, and so didn't have time to retrieve the letter. But why? Why would Marshall kill Elias? I forgot this one. Was it power? Or the mastermind? Or money? It's one of these three, right? Hey, Margaret, how you doing? Mastermind? I see. You claim that Marshall killed Elias to stop him from spreading the word. Is that correct? Continue. It pains me to say this, but everything you said adds up. There we go. There's our dragon metal, metal medallion. Hey, yo. Hey Get out of here. We don't need you here. Leave on and leave on. And we have a freaking guy in our trunk. Stop. This will do. I can walk the rest of the way. Thanks, friends. Have my medallion as a prize. Okay. Very well. Okay, we need to take care of our ox, though. Okay, we need to go at a, at a steady pace, please. Steady it up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will not, uh, disturb this. Dig up the mound, flatten the mound. Flatten the mound sounds kind of crazy, too. I'll just leave it. I don't need to touch it. Hey, Brass Butterfly, how you doing? Wait, can you actually accuse somebody else? I thought it was like a one-way thing there. Yeah, isn't it a one-way thing, right? Because I think we tried to accuse someone last time, but it didn't work. Somebody different. And then we went with Marshall for the second try. I think little Mary's here too. It's always the same? Okay. That's what I thought. The party finally arrives at Independence Rock. The rock is smooth, bearing, of course, the carved names and initials of previous travelers. $37 on that. Very good. Hey, that puts us back where we need to be. We'll talk to Ava. Now, we're doing the complete opposite with Ava this time. We're saying, hey, don't get married. Damn it, she got married. Or they're getting married. You've met... Uh, tell them about the father. My father is out looking for me. You didn't tell me where I went, did you? What? You told him where I was going? This is horrible. Quick, Douglas, we must go. He can't be too far behind us. We can't have the wedding now. We must make preparations quickly. We will have to make it to the parting of the ways before he catches up with us. Travelers, I think it's best you leave. We have preparations to make. <laughs> All right. Jane and Mary. 
this last time, uh, it was like, who goes out and finds uh, Little Mary? We'll let Maggie go find Little Mary. Little Mary's playing with the rock, right? Playing on top of the rock, doing something with the rock, drawing her name in the rock, right? Yeah, doing the carving. I thought that said throw her off the rock. That says take her down off the rock. <laughs> My God. I don't know what I was thinking there. Throw her off the rock? Why would I think that? Okay, that's good. Albert, I forgot what this is. What is this? Carve your name into the... Yeah, we'll do that. That's a party morale thing, right? Carving our name? Maybe not? Okay, maybe not. Uh, we will trade, then rest. It's a lot of grease. Not worth it, though. Not worth what you're asking for. Toolboxes, though, would be worth it. I'll haggle. So this time they didn't marry. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see when we get to that place. Because they married at a specific place last time. And I wonder if we ruined that marriage this time. Um, How many bullets do we have? 15. That's kind of a lot. I mean, we could get rid of some herbs at least. For five toolboxes. I think that's fine. Uh, and then we will not sell any fish. And we will rest. Hopefully that uh, keep, puts our oxen back in shape. It does put our oxen back in shape. Good to see. Puts everybody back in shape. Good, good, good. Uh, we will depart. I could have checked the more trade again. I could have, but I did not. Alrighty. Parting of the way. I think this is where they're getting married, right? Yeah, I think this is where they're getting married. We will go at a grueling hit at a meager eat, meager food, meager food. Uh, well, I mean, we can go hunting. Let's go hunting, shall we? Let's go hunting. Ambidextrous. 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 That's how you say it. There we go. Oh, damn it, Robert. Broken leg. We just walked out of... Ay. Thanks, Robert. Nobody can really help you. Um, but we'll let uh, Maggie do it. Good job, Maggie. Terrible. Thanks, Robert. Come on, Pony Bob. Do you have a knife? You can get a lot of money from the fur trade? Yes, I do have a knife. And we've made a lot of money. So much money that we bought the best wagon you can. Wonder if he broke the same leg. I know, right? <laughs> oh, they're freaking hygiene. I mean, do you get really more dirty in the rain? I don't know. I guess so. Okay, let's see here. Let's take care of them and their hygiene. Uh, that's fine. Continue. Grace, go hunt. We need some food. I started playing the organ, organ to bust and Skatoos pops out as one of my options. Are you picking Skatoos? Are you picking Skatoos? Yeah. Get deaded. Also get deaded. Ah, uh, damn it. Rain is actually pretty. Yep. Hang on a sec. Pretty unsanitary. That's why in some states it's illegal to collect rainwater to drink. I would not drink rainwater. I mean, unless it was like, unless you cleaned it, of course, but. Who Framed Roger Rabbit 2 is a new live action anime crossover. The new film will be released in October 1st, 2024. They're making a sequel to that? No way. 
They're making a sequel to that? Now I'm kind of, now I'm freaking out a little bit inside. I wonder if that's going to be straight Disney if they're going to have, um, because I know there was like a big thing about it with Disney and, um, what is it? Was it Warner Brothers? Is that the people that do uh, cartoons? Uh, like Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny and all that? Looney Tunes and all that? I know that was a big deal. I think one of the things that they said in that is that there was no way they were going to do like Looney Tunes and Disney characters in the same movie unless one of the, like they had like a bunch of like, you know, negotiations and thing. I think one of the things is like if you're going to have Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny in the same movie, they have to have the exact same time amount in the movie. That's why when you see Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny, they're both in the same scene for the same amount of time skydiving. That was the only way I think they were going to let that fly. At least back then, of course. We'll go ahead and get pelts from this. Since we have a big trunk now. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go here. Go here. I think we could go to filling again. No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it as is. We'll leave it as is. I think Bob Hoskins is dead, right? Bob Hoskins passed away, right? Hey, goodness, how you doing? Maggie lets out a cry and clutches her leg, unable to move. It appears as if she has a cramp for overexertion. Yeah, we'll stop and rest. That's fine. I get it. I'm, I'm running you guys at like a grueling pace, too. The party pauses. After some time, the pain in Maggie's leg abates, and she feels well enough to continue walking. It all depends on who's making the film. If I'm assuming it's... I mean, I don't know who's taking... I mean, uh, what I'm assuming is that they're not going to let Warner Brothers and Disney mix together, first of all. So it's probably going to be just a Disney film. I don't know who owns the right to Roger Rabbit's, though. To, to Roger Rabbit. Somebody... I think the rights to Roger Rabbit kind of fell through in the 90s or something or the early 2000s. So I don't know who owns the rights. If Disney re got the rights to Roger Rabbit, I'm not sure. The characters is what I'm talking about. Not the movie. Um, Use a little bit more of this. There we go. I know there was like rights disputes and things like that. It was a very messy movie back in the 80s. We'll go for another hunt. Yep. Oh, I hate this. Coyotes. Oh, yeah. Betty Boop was in that uh, movie, uh, movie too, wasn't she? Boop, boop, beep, doop, boop. Oh, shit. This is so sad. That was a waste of a shot. Not gonna do it. I'm not gonna use my knife on this. No, I'm not gonna use my knife. Hey Cassie, how you doing Cassie? We'll obtain the pelts and we will not use the knife. And we will... I think we have quite a bit of uh, food right now, isn't it? Yeah, quite a bit of food. 121, 151. Yeah. Starring the rock. <laughs> oh god, starring the rock. Oh uh, yeah, of course, right? <laughs> Electric Boogaloo starring the rock. I think I'm gonna well I'll go for another hunt. I'll go for another hunt. I know I'm low on, on bullets here. But I'll go for another hunt.
And then I'll have to get uh, bullets when we get to parting ways. Hopefully I can get bullets from these people. How are the oxen? Oxen are fine. We're going to use some of this coffee finally. We have so much coffee on us. Oh, if we can get some food stuff from here, that'd be nice. Uh, pick the berries. Maggie or Grace? Grace. Grace, pick the berries. Hygiene? Okay, that's fine. There we go. Food stuff. Perfect. Good stuff. And good morale. That was lucky. Big luck. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and throw in some more energy. And then what we'll do also is we will give Grace Typhoid. Uh-oh, that's not good. Typhoid? I don't think we've had Typhoid yet. Typhoid is a specific um, type of uh, Salmonella. Oh, right. Reduces max morale, occasionally reduces stamina. Contagious. Ay. Treat with four medicine or treat with five remedies. 25? I see. That's a big one. We'll continue. But that's a big one. That's a big one to worry about. We might have to uh, pump up the brakes a little bit. On our grueling take here. But we will go ahead and shoot again. Thank you, Grace. Yeah, it's definitely from the berries for sure. And that, you know, and the reason why I didn't is because the last time. Oh, I hit something. <laughs> I actually hit something. Oh, with that random shot. The reason why I didn't is because the last time we inspected the berries, it failed. Um, so I was trying to take a risk there for sure. And guess who just came home? Uh, the one and only. The one and only just came home. Just got home. Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing here? High five. Are you off of work? No. Oh, you're not. What are you doing? Oh, you brought lunch. Oh, that was very good and very nice of you. Appreciate that. I look crazy. It's Saturday. My hair? It looked like a nutcase. How are you? Good. Everybody saying hi? <laughs> Very well. Um, okay. See ya. Bye. Oh. No. She almost pulled me out of the room. Okay, so uh, for the pelts, absolutely we will um, we will use again because I think I have another use out of it, right? Yeah, party currently has one knife. Yeah, so we still have more uses out of it. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. Ten more pelts. There we go. And then what I'll do now is I will put us on steady pace and run us through to. Dragoon sighting, uh, but I will also put us on a filling ration as well. There we go. All right, 32 meat in two days. Grace, broken legs, typhoid, and all that good stuff. Oh, I absolutely will fit rad. I definitely will fit rad when I see her again tonight. She already left. She was, I guess, in a, in a hurry to get back to work, but... I definitely will fit, Rad. Absolutely. The party is waved down by a young woman by the side of the trail. She looks to be in a rather desperate situation. Alice, please stop. We're in need of your help, the woman cr cries out. Now, that's the use in... What's the use in that, Alice? Oh, yeah, yeah. Were these people, like, asking for food? I still have faith, Joseph. There are good people on this trail. I know someone will help us. 
Please, travelers, we've run desperately low on food. We have gone hungry night after night. You must help us. Uh, yeah, we'll give the food. We'll give them food. Offer them food. Party offers what little food they can spare from their own supplies. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to us. See, Joseph, didn't I tell you that someone would help us? All right, I can admit when I was wrong. Thanks, strangers. Party morale goes up. Maggie's morale go up. It's just harsh. It's just hard to trust people, even this far west. I have to protect my family, make sure they stay free. It's a, it's a responsibility I don't take lightly. And our knife just fell right out of the wagon there. Um, we don't have any more shirts, so hygiene is no no. Uh, we have no more. Uh, well, actually, we do have more of these. We could use this, but we don't have to worry too much about that since we have so much space and things like that. Get the right pose and you could do Einstein's picture, maybe. <laughs> kind of look crazy, but the Willy Wonka from the chocolate factory. What did you get for lunch? I don't know what I got. I'll have to go out there and see. I'll have to go out there and see. Um, We will decline this. Sorry, we will not perform with you. We did that last time and it was good and fun, but damn it, I failed hard on that one. Good job. All right, we're doing we're doing good. We're doing good. Like I said, I think at this point, well, actually, honestly, last time we did the organ uh, run, we um well, we blew up, but that was that was a different one. But the first run we did, uh, Cora was, like, already gone. Like, we, we were running on three people the entire time, right? Uh, right, okay, so Maggie's having a little bit of hurt time. You know, we're almost at the parting of the ways. Should be fine once we get there. Maybe we can find some hygiene, do a little bit of health, kind of regroup a little bit. Hopefully. I, I don't know. This is where they were running to, right? Ava and what was his name? I forgot his name, but Ava and her soon-to-be husband was running here. And we told her dad about what was going on. So I wonder if there'll be like a change of story here. Yeah, we did miss a medal the first run, too. So, yeah, so it probably won't matter anyways. Okay, so here we go. Though no one had so much as noticed the gradual ascent, the party has arrived at the summit of the Rocky Mountains. So we got one coffee, one medicine for completing our quest. Good stuff there. Uh, we will talk to people. Alfred, Redbird. I was hoping there would be, like... Uh, Ava, but I guess not. I thought they said the parting of the ways is where they were heading to. Uh, we will trade supplies. Ooh. Ooh. I, won't, I need bullets. I need bullets. That's what I really need. I need bullets. One coffee. I would take this. Maybe. Or one medicine, maybe? I'll take that. One coffee for one medicine, possibly. That'd be okay. How much medicine do we have? Four? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, toolboxes? What are you asking for a toolbox? I could use some pelts. I could, yeah, we could use pelts for that. There we go. Maggie, four pelts, please. Four toolboxes for four pelts. Yeah, I think that's a good offer. And then we will rest. We will rest. I remember watching your video and of when Skatoos bailed on her party when they were our nearly a hop and skip to Oregon. I know. We were like 5, 15, 10 miles out and Skatoos is like, I'm out of here. Like, you... Bastard. Okay. 
Now, one thing that we could do is we could potentially treat Typhoid here. Let's take a look at more trades. Nope. Um, let's see if I can treat more of this Typhoid. The party. Grace. Typhoid. Cut that down. Okay. Typhoid will leave us. Typhoid will lead us. Leave us. Not lead us. Leave us. Hygiene is the only problem here. And we don't have any hygiene right now. Uh, how's our party morale? I guess it's good. We'll depart. I know. Too bad there wasn't any clothes, right? It was dirty done. But we, but at least we didn't have to talk to Korra that, t that time when we took one back. I know, right? I will go to Green River North. I think last time we went to South, so this is the first time we're going to North. Reach the settlement in the next eight days, and you'll get $42 in cash. Let's make sure we do that. Three days. This is simple, easy, good. Um, I kind of want to go fishing. And I will go fishing. We're going to go fishing. Yeah, I could have rest again, huh? I definitely could have rest again and then got rid of the typhoid. Oh my god. We pull out. Oh lord, we don't have a wheel to repair it. Uh, da, 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 da. Lucian. Damn it, Lucian. 12 hours lost. What a bother. Okay. Luckily, we have a big... Big fat wagon. So we're okay. There we go. Grace has recovered from typhoid. That's good. Well, I guess I was kind of like resting in a way. <laughs> we didn't get out of the encampment now, did we? It was hilarious. Cora convinced you to subscribe. <laughs> Cora convinced you to subscribe to your channel. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Was it? Cor it was Cora, not not Skatoos, right? <laughs> Lucian holds his hand up in the halt of the wagon. A red buck with majestic antler stands, grazing peacefully a good distance from the wagon. It may be old wives' tale, but the antler velvet of a red deer is said to have a restorative effect of, on a manner of illnesses. This is a prime opportunity to acquire both food and medicine in one fell swoop. If the buck can be felled, uh, that is. Now, this is something I don't remember. The red deer. So I'm going to attempt this. Hopefully we get this. It was Skatoos that convinced. <laughs> Very good. Yeah! Four pelts, 75 meat, and six herbal remedies. That's how you do it right there, baby. Grace lays the deer down with a single rifle blast. The carcass is dressed out and the meat collected along with ant antler velvet. Hell yeah. Sick. Damn it. F it. Wonderful. All right. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll start repairing a little bit here. There we go. How's our morale? It's fine. Our hygiene's terrible. Um, that's good. We're good. She won you over. Skatoo. Shout out to Sk Skatoos. Oh, I tried it last time and I missed. Frick. Oh, he Dao. Oh, hey, it's them again. He Dao. Yeah, I'll do this again. Listen to the lesson. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I've already seen that you can fish, but you're welcome to join in on the lesson anyway if you like. Approach the Mormons. Talk to He Dao. Mormons have been coming through here more and more often recently. They've set up in a place they called Salt Lake City to the west. They seem always to be in a big group. Lots of women and children. Not the kind of people used to living outside of their cities. Nice enough folks, most of the time. This group seems to be determined to get along with people. Uh, with my people, at least. Can't say that for all the people from the East. If I help them a bit, teach them how we... Akidaka? Akidaka? Agaidaka? Agaidaka? Understand the Agai... Agaya. And how... 
we hunt, maybe we can find a way to live together. There's more and more of them every day, though. At some point, there won't be room for fishing like this. Others in my village share the same fears. I should get back to helping these folks. They're looking a little lost in the water over there. Hey, Maggie. Thank you, Maggie, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was generous of you. Gets back some of the medicine used in the, on the typhoid. Yeah, it does. That does definitely for sure. That that red deer. Still, you're welcome to join in on the lesson. If you like, I enjoy passing on my knowledge. You may get something out of it. Listen to the lesson. Fishing is all about your attitude. The fish are smarter than you think. If you go in with the wrong thoughts, you'll have no success. The better your attitude, the easier the time you'll have catching fish. My people, the Agaya, use spears and nets... Uh, but when using your rods, you must consider sim small, uh, similar things. You should aim to cast your line near where the fish roam. You may be able to spot them beneath the surface. Once the fish is interested, wait for it to fully commit to biting before pulling back. Different fish may be more or less shy about grabbing the bait. Make sure you learn the right feel. Once you've mastered these things, you shouldn't have much trouble, of course. Uh, you could also use a trap. My people use them often, but that's perhaps not practical for traveling folk such as yourself. Oh, wow. Everyone got attitude and path uh, wayfinding. Not pathfinding, wayfinding up. I hope you gained something from listening, travelers. We don't want starved immigrants the length of your trail. The lesson concluded. The Mormons uh, returned to the stream once more. I kind of want to approach the Mormons, too. <laughs> Oh, don't say that, Maggie. Don't ever say it's not enough. Any generosity, any contribution is always enough. Just know that. Um, so we'll approach the Mormons and see what they say. The Mormons are knee-deep in the stream, desperately trying to eye any poor uh, pison, pison, pison shape that swims by. They look up as the party approaches, ask about their journey. For all followers of the church, you may have heard of us, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. A bit of a mouthful, I know. Most folks can uh, call us Mormons. Our kind isn't much welcome out east anymore. We're heading west to a place called Salt Lake City. Our leader, Br uh, Brigham, Brigham Young, settled it a few years ago in 1847, a place for us Mormons. The journey there so far hasn't been so bad. We're part of a company of 50 of us, all told. Uh, they're camping nearby. Me and my husband here and our friend thought we could come try and catch some dinner. We didn't expect to find a Shoshone woman here, but she's been quite helpful. This is a whole story that we didn't get to see because we didn't go north. We went south last time. The Mormons are knee-deep in the stream. Okay. Uh, ask how the fishing is going. It could be better. The fish seem to be wise to our tactics, and the Shoshone woman seems to take some small delight in our suffering. Ah, she's been very helpful, though. Her people have a wealth of knowledge about these parts, and I'm glad she's taking the time to teach us. We might not have caught anything yet, but I'm confident it's only a matter of time. Um, go fishing, yeah. Uh, go fishing. And we'll let uh, Maggie do this. Yeah, Maggie will do it. Okay. Go over here. Yeah, you're right about that, Brass Butterfly. I do... I do hope that they do, that Game Off does end up um, putting more stories and more content in this. Because that will be super fun to do. It's always interesting going through these trails and whatnot. I can't imagine they won't. I have a feeling they will. I do. I have a feeling they will. I mean, as much content as Game Off is putting out in the mobile wor world and as much content as they're putting out in Disney Dreamlight Valley, I can't imagine why they wouldn't... Uh, Put any content out for uh, the Oregon Trail. There we go. Good job. 
And I will, I will be using my, uh, my knife here for sure. Big money maker. I wonder if it's like, once you get the big wagon like we do, I wonder if like things are like super easy to go to do going forward. You know, I'm not sure. Ah! Cutthroat. I've always wanted to go fishing. I have friends that go fishing. They don't invite me. I think it's because they don't want to teach me how to fish. <laughs> But I am always interested in fishing, for sure. I am. I am interested. I think it'd be nice. Just kind of chill out. Talk about what, whatever. You know, whatnot. Catch some fish. Speaking of Dreamlight Valley, are you ready for the Toy Story update on December 6th? I had no idea they were doing a Toy Story update on December 6th. That's all news to me. I had no idea about that. That sounds really good, though. Fishing is fun, relaxing, depends if it's... Uh, if it's the river or sea, we like to go to, well, around our parts, a lot of people go to the, the lake where we're at. They go fishing on the lake with their kayaks and stuff. <laughs> kind of funny. My dad and sisters actually went fishing this morning. Ah. Oh. Common Shiner. Depends if you are f if you are fly fishing or pull what rods you are using. We there's a lot of people that do fly fishing in the Sacramento River where I live. I'm staying home with my sick child though, so didn't want to go with them. There's a lot of bait that we just used for that fish, but I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of fish. We can at least use the knife and get some more out of it, too. 95 fish, use the knife. 25 extra fish, that's good. Repack. Yeah, we should not be running into any freaking storage problems with that. Ah! His pants are off. His pants are off. All right. Robert has dysentery. Very good. Not good, actually. Very bad. And he has a broken leg. He has a broken leg. And he has dysentery. Very well. Trail, trials and tribute. Oh, God. Robert needs help. Like, fast. Green River. They need to have something here. They need to have something here for us. We need to have something, some hygienic or something. Party morale goes up for eating good food. That's decent, at least. We need hygiene, baby. We need hygiene. Uh oh, hang on. Danielle texted me. I must see what she has texted me. Oh, she wants me to call her when I'm done. Oh wait, this is not this is not a settlement. This is crossing. Okay, do you guys have good stuff here? Trade supplies. Please tell me you got something. Pelts, ox, toolboxes, coffee. F, F, and F, and F. Uh, right. Um. Selfish. Haggle. Maggie. Good job, Maggie. Okay. Next. 50 fish. Sell 50 fish. 
Sell 25 fish. $150 for us. Trade supplies. What do you offer for the toolboxes? 45 fish for toolboxes? You're out of your damn mind, dude. Um, I could do, like, pelts. Damn it. I could do pelts. Um... That's really much all I could do there. Let's take a look at the river. Right? The river's probably bad, right? Moderate, seven feet deep. That's eh, not too bad. Hawk the wagon. Seal the wagon with pelts. Is that all we had was five? No, we got more. There we go. Fill it up with ten. Repair. Repair. Okay. Moderate, 7 depth, 100 condition, 70%. We will rest, since we're going to rest anyways. We'll rest. Conditions did get better. Okay. We'll rest again. Okay, depth got better. Cock. Ah! Robert. 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 No, 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 Robert. This is not it. This is not it. This is not how you die. Okay? This is not how you die. This is where we cross. We gotta cross fast. We gotta cross. We have to. We can't let Robert die. I want to bring four people to Oregon. I should have checked the trade again, huh? I can't let Robert die. I'm going to keep him up. The wagon is uncocked. Very good. How far are we from the um, breach of settlement? Okay, very good. Avoided that. Okay, very good. We're pretty far away. Frick, dude. We're very far away. This is going to be hard to do. Uh, okay. It's going to be super hard to do. We need to go at a grueling pace. We got to go at a grueling pace at a filling ration. And we need to go either there or there. We'll go here. We'll go to the question mark. I gotta try our best to keep him alive. This is a very, very big situation here. Grace reaches into the wagon. Damn it, Grace. Gets bit by a snake. We will treat with one medicine. We will let Robert do it. Ah, contagious. Nah, I don't know. No, no, we're fine. Not contagious. Okay. Continue. This is getting serious now. Broken leg and dysentery is like the worst. And then a sandstorm. Oh, that's going to kill Robert. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Everybody's going to be dirty now. Everybody needs a fat bath. Time out, time out. Use stamina. Stamina use. There we go. Okay, also herbs. Keep Robert alive. Okay. Continue. Dysentery is going to be gone in three days, it said. That's good news. That's good news. Wagon gets hit by something. Rocky roads. That's fine. We'll let Lucien take a look at it. Not Robert. Good job, Lucien. And he went up in skills as well. Okay. Repack. Put that son of a gun right in there. Now we have this for composure. Lucien is not really good on composure right now. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Take that out there. Let's continue. Food is getting a little bit low. Okay, interesting piece of here, right? 
set up camp? I think so. Can we wash ourselves? Cook. Um, what does cooking do for us? As a stat. Probably helps our energy. Maybe our morale. We'll go cook. Grace will do the cooking. There we go. Our health goes up. Okay, yeah, it does help with health. Very good. That's that's great. Grace, who has the brilliant trait, considers cooking to be more science than art. That helped us out a lot there. Cool. Love it. Does it did it say revive health? I didn't read that. I should have read that part. Okay. Hygiene going down even more. Broken leg down. Dysentery is down by one. That means there's only two days left in dysentery. We will then continue. I will avoid the dragoons over there. And I'm going to go to a nondescript trail. Grace has dysentery now. F, man! <laughs> have a good one, Maggie Red. Do have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us and enjoying your time. Appreciate it. Do take care. And thank you for the super chat as well. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Bison lies in the dirt. It does appear that it has external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at a quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of any meat. No. Push on. Not about that life. Not about that life. Party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. All right, so let's see here. We will go to the question mark. Okay, a little bit of pain there, a little bit of energy as well, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Have a little bit of stamina hit. Looks like Maggie might have dysentery now. Frick, dude. It's all coming through here. Uh, and then we will give a little bit of health to Robert. And we will continue. Yeah, Maggie has dysentery now. When checking the flower, Maggie notices some of, the, of it is clumped together and waterlogged. What should I do? We will discard it. Continue. Such a waste. Don't say that, Maggie. Are we at another camp? Okay, looks like another camp. Very well. This, you know, definitely could help us. We will set up camp. To rest or tell stories. We'll rest. We'll rest. Let them rest. This has been a tough leg. Absolutely. Maggie Refined awakens with start. She dreamt of being a governess, ruling over Oregon and living in luxury. The realization it had only been a dream brought uh, her suddenly crashing back to Earth. Her attitude goes down. That is a terrible thing. Hey, I think uh, somebody just lost dysentery. So that's good. Yep, grace morale, I guess. Grace stamina, a lot of things going on. Robert recovered. Very good, Robert. That's what we needed. Okay. Now we just got to keep an eye out on Grace and Maggie. Okay, now Lucian has dysentery. Holy shit! And then our wagon's getting beat to hell. We will repack this. Go like this. Continue. Have a good one, Buzzkill. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us as well. Okay. Soda Springs almost here. Hopefully we can do like some washing something. Ouch. Maggie under underestimates the blade of a worn knife and cuts herself on its edge. Jesus Louise. Ay ay ay. Medicine. Cut yourself. Why are you messing with a knife? Maggie has an infection. together get 
get it together. All right, we made it to Soda Springs. Y'all are playing in the water. Everybody go take a dip, honestly. Go wash yourselves. Avoid contracting cholera, you sure? <laughs> All right, let's talk with some people. Jane. Hello again, travelers. It's certainly amazing how often we meet on this trail. My little Mary has not stopped talking about you folks since the last time we met. She keeps asking questions about your group, but I have to keep telling her I do not know. Uh, Jane points to the spring where little Mary is playful splashing in the shallows. Talk to little Mary. Hi, everyone. Mom said I might see you again. Did you come to play in the water, too? Yes, we did. Cool. The party spends some time showing little Mary how to make a carbonated drink from the spring water. Little Mary is eager to make a big gulp of the ever Eversent beverage. Eversent beverage. All we know is we need to get in there and wash our asses. That's all we know. And, all right, Charles, uh, the water here is naturally carbonated, meaning uh, it's got bubbles in it. Like a drink. Party morale goes up. That's big. That's what we needed. You see people in there doing their thing. Like, go play with them. Go go have a nice uh, dip in the, in the water. That guy's doing his feet over there. Come on now. You should do good. Hey, Ara, how you doing, Ara? How's our oxen? We might... Let's see. Where, where's our oxen? Stand? I'll look at our oxen. Great supplies. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is what we need. I will haggle the hell out of this. We need the clothes. Good job, Maggie. We need the clothes. Trade for pelts or trade for a medallion? It depends. How many pelts do we have? In a desperate time like this, I will do a medallion. <sighs> so let's 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 take care of that real quick. That's only gonna do three people. I'm not gonna do everybody. Excuse me, what? You cannot use this item at the time in the vent? Oh, my bad. Coffee. I mean the wheel grease would be sick, but how much are you doing for coffee? Okay, nope. How much are you doing for a toolbox? Yep, actually, possibly here. Good job. And then let's go here. Pelts. Good job. Okay, we will rest. Actually. Yes, we will rest. I will not forget to check the trade this time. We will rest. Okay. All right, so composure. Let's see where we're at composure wise. Let's increase Lucian's composure. Okay, now let's also give some people some clean clothes. We will give that to, uh, I don't know if I should give it to the person that has an infection. Give it to Robert so he doesn't get dysentery again. And hang on a sec. Let me look into infection here. What does infection say? Reduces the health daily. Treatment will slightly reduce the duration. If I hit you with a remedy, that takes it down a couple of days. Takes it down a couple of days. I will hold with two. Okay. And then what I will do is probably give you... And you, Grace and Maggie, hygiene. And then we will, how's the morale? Morale's good. Morale's fine. Even with everything going on, the morale's kicking, baby. We will take a look at the other supplies. Five traps, grease, damn it, damn it, damn it. Not good. Okay, well, uh, that's what we have. We already rested. We need to go. And the reason why we're going at such a grueling rate, a fast rate, is because we don't have, we can't afford to spend a lot of time on the road 
with people infection and things like that. So we have to go fast. We have to go at a grueling state or because the longer we trek, the more days we trek, uh, the more we'll run out of resources like medicine in this case. And we will uh, we will end up having someone die. So how long is Fort Hall? 70 miles. Doesn't seem too long. Yeah, it doesn't seem too long indeed. We will go at a grueling pace at a filling ration to the Dragoon. And we'll be on our way. Party leaves Soda Springs behind. Yep, here we go. Grace, while feeding the ox, Grace observes that one of the beasts seems lethargic. It's breathing labored. Okay, it has been, you know, to be fair, it has been uh, doing some, uh, you know, crazy stuff right now. I will inspect the ox. Farmer believe, Lucy and the farmer believes the problem to be a mild form of uh, colic, easily treated with water to drink a moment to roam free. Okay. Maybe, like, we stop and just take a rest? Yeah, all right, good. Cool, that was good. Glad we inspected that that time instead of, like, just giving it food. Now, what I might do here is I might run it to Meager. And we'll continue. All right, hey, Adriana. How you doing, Adriana? Good to see you. Okay, a little bit of health there. We got to save. Got to help. Oh, crap. Two oxen broke out. And okay, we can't, we cannot search for the oxen. We don't have time to search for the oxen. Or our people will die. We have to keep going. We have to push on. Okay, we are now two oxen short. We can't afford to stay around. We have no more medical supplies, but there is a bush with a man and his penis possibly out. Excuse me, sir. Step away from the bush. I have misplaced my garments. Could you help me find them? I do not have any clothes for you. Push on. Wait, no, don't go. No, I want to. I want some of the bush. Ah, I want the bush. I want the bush. Damn you. Now we either go to rest. Yeah, we go to rest. We go to, yeah. Restore stamina party. Ugh. Stamina party, uh, right. I don't think we need to go to the campsite for stamina party. No, we, we do not. So we are not going to the campsite. We're going to the question mark instead. All right, all right. So far, okay. As long as we get to Fort Hall, that's all that's going to matter. We need to get to Fort Hall. Group notices the flower supplies are getting low. We'll, we'll make some hard tack. Okay, let's go. Continue. Come on. Come on. Fort Hall. Fort Hall. Without any ammo, the only resource is to try and gather some of the berries and fruits. Yes. Uh, after some time, Grace stumbles across some small purple berries. She's gathered as many. 30 food stuff. That's good. Did we get any herbs? No? All right. 30 food stuff is fine, I guess. I think we're going to make it. We're going to make it to Fort Hall. We're going to make it. We have $234. We're going to make it. Oh, my Lord. We're going to make it. With the fast efforts of getting through the desert, we have finally made it. <whistles> GG. Good job. God damn it. Grace, we're in the town. All right. Everybody's getting healed right now. First things first, let Grace get healed. There we go. We got $41 too as well. That's good. So nervous for you right now. <laughs> ah! We've made it. 70 days. That's leg three down. 
Now it's time to heal. First thing we do, we heal. Everybody will be healed. Maggie, heal. Treat all illnesses for 50. $50 is a lot of money. Treat... Uh, we'll do the illnesses first and then I might go back and uh, give them everything else. Lucian. Illness for 25. Thank you. We'll restore the rest of your health too. Grace. There you go. Treat the illness. Wonderful. Restore your health. Robert, you're next. You're not next. Maggie, you're next. One. Why? I'll show you why. Because I got to go to the store first. I got to have enough money to hopefully buy clothes. That's right. Add the wagon. We need clothes. Clothes indeed. Pay the man 70. Pay the man 70. Okay. Trade. Sell pelts. Haggle. Maggie. Woo. Hey, Chibi. Chibi. Chibi's here. Happy birthday, Chibi. Hey. Happy birthday to Chibi. Happy birthday to Chibi. Hey. Happy birthday, dear Chibi. Happy birthday to Chibi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Chibi. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use all my pelts here. I have six pelts all together. I think I'm going to use all of it. All right. Now that's done. I will not sell fish. I will hold on to fish. And I will then... Look into some stuff here. Possibly. Possibly. Grease sounds good to me. But really, honestly... I think we go back to services. We go to hygiene. We get Lucian up and running for five. We get Robert up and running for five. And then I go and um, see if I can heal Robert. I mean, a broken leg I can deal with. Treat injury for 30. Yeah, we'll do that. Robert's broken leg has been fixed. There we go. I do not have enough money to get any of the other things, I don't think, right? Yeah, I don't have enough money to fill the health. Hey, sweet potato mama, how you doing? Um, there we go. Let's see here. I want to go, uh, hang on a sec. Um, there we are. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Trade. Selfish. Sell 25. Do I have herbal remedies? I don't think I do, do I? No, I have no herbal remedies. I have none. Uh, we will sell 25. Bullets. Yes. Good idea. Bullets. Great idea. Actually, trade supplies. Flower, coffee, toolbox, traps. How much are you selling that flower for? Let's look at it. Hang on. Let's look at um, bullets. Let's see. Let's see. Bullets. 
Bullet 70? Yo, that's too much. We do have fish, though. We can find a fishing hole. We can get fish that way. Fish bait, sorry. Um, bu 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 bu. This is what we do. Trade. Flower. Haggle. Grace. There we go. That time I went Grace. Two toolboxes. For flour. What do you want for coffee? Nothing. Okay. 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 Um, so we have a little bit more flour on us now. That's good. More food on us. I think the next thing we do is we go physician. We go Robert. Restore Robert. And then we go hygiene. Get Maggie done. Nine dollars. Damn. And we could do Maggie as well as far as health goes. Might as well. Kind of just like go all out now. I'm going to go all out. And we'll do that. And then we'll rest. We will not spend the eight for lodging. Wait, actually we could. Stamina morale. How's our stamina morale? Stamina good, decent. Our morale is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we'll rest. Okay. All right. I think that's what I think this is good. Yeah. I think this is good. And then I think we depart. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, the dragon medallions, the dragon medallions, I think we already completed that quest before. Um, but yeah, I, I think you're right. I think for now they're good for trade. They came up clutch for us at the end. Yeah, definitely at the end. Made it through the 11 days waiting for help. Hands us the ox and bam! <laughs> um, okay, so we'll go... Last time we went south. This time we'll go north. I didn't go north. Now this is the new way. I have yet to gone. Or yet to go. We will run at a steady pace. At a meager... At meager. Food ration. And we'll go here. We don't need to run at a grueling state because nobody is sick currently. So that's good. Alright, I feel better. I still feel better though. I still feel better. Regardless, I still feel good. Still feel good. All right. Wow. Right off the bat, some bushes. Good. I feel the red spreads out before the wagon. Not blood, but flowers. Poppies such as these. Uh, refine. Poppy seeds can be refined. Yeah, we'll refine. If we can. Medical herbs. 18 medical herbs. That actually is pretty banging right there. Damn. That was a lot. Hell yeah. That helped out. Why did we just get a zoom in here on our party? I'm a scared. I'm a little scared. Uh oh. Gunslinger, howdy. My name's well, that's not important. I got some business to take care of and need to hone my shooting skills. Fancy a wager? Uh politely F off. Have it your way, see you around. Did I forget to change the pace? No, I didn't forget to change the pace. I'm on steady.
Uh, which one do you enjoy more, the current organ bus or the first one on normal difficulty? I, I'm, I'm enjoying this one, I think, probably more. Well, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Because, um, I think we should give them a rest, right? No? No, they're fine. It's hard to say because, um... Like, I really love going through the story, reading all the dialogue for the first one, right? And learning everything and... And kind of being like surprised. This run, however, I have a better idea of how to play the game than I did the first time. First time I was in going in completely blind, you know. So I don't know. It's it's hard to say, but I am liking this today because I have a better uh, plan, right? Yeah. Look at the top of the screen. Yeah, it says steady. It still says steady. Fellow travelers, I beseech you, stop and tender assistance to the, this humble servant of the Lord. My wagon's wheel has come undone, you see. Might one of you be so kind to examine it for me? Repair the wheel. Robert offers to inspect the errant wheel. Hey, there we go. In no time, Robert repairs the damage and returns to his own wagon, satisfied. $50! The, the priest thanks the party profusely, pro, uh, proffering a small satchel of coins by way of reward. Sick. I'm about that. Felt the same way, especially knowing what to do more, but challenging. It felt good. Yeah, I agree with that. Edow. Oh, hello there, travelers. I've set up my challenge again. Would you like to try another? I accept. And we will let Lucian do it. 50 bait. That's huge. Absolutely huge for us. We need that bait. We need that food. We need that money. We need all that to survive. That's big time big. Big time big? Yeah, big time big. We have a time limit up here. That's interesting. Da, da, da. Looking, 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 looking for a fish to catch. Yep, there we go. Wow. They're all over here. There we go. There we are. Here we go. And now last time we got gold good. I mean, I don't know if there's like a way to fail this, but now if she gives us if she gives us a uh, a fish trap, we definitely have enough storage to hold on to a fish trap. Enough inventory space, I should say. There we go. Right. Continue. Ah! I want a trophy fish, man. I've only gotten like one or two, I think, in the entire game before. This is going to really help us out, though. And I'm glad that I went through all the other trials and... Oh, there we go. Look at that. I'm glad I went through all the uh, trials and all the um, survivors before I did the organ and bus. You know, to get all the, like, the hunting knife to unlock these characters or this class or whatever. You know, it, it was it's nice to have that too. We only used six bait? Wow. We did pretty good. Welcome back. Uh, let me see what you caught. We did great. Confident in ourselves, are we? I like that. Shall we uh, see how you did? We got a trophy fish. With the fish you caught, you got a score of 7,825. That ends up being a grade of great. Excellent work. I prepared a little something in the way of your reward for you as well. Hopefully it'll make you or make up for rushing around chasing fish for me. Manages to catch 120 pounds of fish and brings it all to the back storage. 95 fish, use the knife. 25 more fish. Very good. Three fish traps, one trail map, $50. Woohoo! Now we're feeling good. Now we are feeling good. We are feeling good about ourselves. Very good, very good, very good. 
at this rate, we can have a little bit of uh, filling rations there. Uh, the map would be nice for an emergency. Fishing trap's always good. Um, we have a lot of bait now, again. How's our party morale? I think it's good. Yeah, I, th I, you know, I think we're pretty good. Let's continue. Ow. Yeah, swapping to the bigger wagon has definitely been a big plus. A big plus indeed. No one's pooping everywhere, eating. We got a big, we caught a big fish. Life is great. Yeah, it's so funny in this game. You could be going really like everything's going great and then everything just crashes, you know. This is little Mary, right? Oh, hello once again, uh, my friends. It's been a hard road for us since we last met. I'm afraid we're running low on supplies. Oh, uh, well, we don't have medicine. Talk to Mary. We have herbs, but we don't have like medicine. Little Mary is near. Little Mary is nearby, clearly exhausted with none of the youthful energy she had before. As the group approaches, wheezing, coughing emanates from her little body. Hello, everyone. Poor Mary. Her birthday. This is basically going through all the things that she is excited for for her birthday and everything. Kind of like bringing up her spirits and things like that. We don't have any medicine, unfortunately, but we know that she will pass away. Yeah, with the bigger wagon, you have a lot more room for your wagon to get damaged, too. Snagging the plans. Sagebrush rubs. Right? Lucian? Come on, buddy. Pull through. Fix it up for us. Good job. Very good job. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Let's see. That way. Okay, let's take a look real quick. Okay, that's where we land here as far as wagon condition. If this was like the smaller wagon, we'd be Pretty doomed right now. We did give medicine last time. I think we did, yeah. I think you're right about that. Hello, Bella. We will leave the dog. We don't want it. So why did I leave the dog? Because the dog... God damn it. What the frick? That doesn't matter now. I wish I would have pet the dog. I was going to say, the reason why we leave the dog is because last time we got minus hygiene because the dog licked us and all that good stuff. Well, now it's like, look at us now, right? I know. Okay, things are starting to get spicy now. Uh, things are starting to get spicy. Tetris game on point. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make sure we give Robert... A little bit of clothing there. Uh, campsite, yeah? Hello, friends. Uh, restore morale? Yeah, I think so. That's a good idea. We'll celebrate. We might already be at a high morale, but, you know. We'll do it regardless. <sighs> yeah, we were already at a high morale. All right, that's fine. We're going to need repairs. Our wagon is starting to hurt a little bit. So with our wagon hurting a little bit, there's a possibility that we bring up a grueling uh, pace here. Heavy clouds roll in quickly. This is going to hurt our hygiene, right? Brick. The closest I've ever come to rage quitting on stream was when I made it to the rafting minigame with three people. Tried to float my Swiss cheese wagon down the river and zero people made it to Oregon. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, last time we basically did the entire Oregon Trail. Last time we did the entire Oregon Trail with like three people. This time we're doing it with four. So, you know, there's like the added like helpful skills here, but then also like added mouths to feed here. You know, worry about other things like more resources being used compared to less being used before. We did not get any of that done for us, but you know, that's fine. Talk to anybody here that's worthwhile. No, thank you. Trade anything worthwhile? That would be kind of worth it. What are you asking for that? Three trail maps. Oh my god, you're asking way too much for that. We'll do two boxes. Damn it. Okay, we won't do two boxes. Instead, I'll hand you over actually 15 bait. Yeah, we'll hand you over 15 bait. I was going to do the medallion. Okay. We won't sell fish. Okay, rest. Yeah. I know, Cora did us all a favor and just left. <laughs> Morale and stamina goes up there. Very good. Ooh, offer more clothes. Offer more clothes. What do you offer for the clothes? Can I bring that down to one medallion? Yeah, we can. Good. One medallion or 11 herbs. We'll go with one medallion. All right. I think that's good. We will then uh, depart. I might go at a grueling pace now. I might. Have a good night. Have a good rest of your night, uh, James. Have a good rest of your night. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Collect meat, restore Grace's hygiene. We could do that. Oh, we could definitely do that. Let's go at a grueling pace. Go fishing. Restore Grace's hygiene and get that medicine for us as well. Let's go here. Grace. Might as well do Lucian too. And uh, we will repair... the red and we will continue and we will come across a dead carcass and bad carcass all right um we will investigate it this might be bad but we will do it with lucian this might be a terrible decision good job lucian lucian holds his breath and investigates the carcass uh he can see nothing external to suggest the meat is unsafe and concludes it is likely the bison simply perish of old age with a little time the carcass could be butchered and greatly aid the party's yeah we'll do that lucian butchers the bison collecting as much good meat as possible and hefting it back to the wagon 100 meat in one pelt good very good have a good one too, Ainworth. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do take care. Seems one of the oxen has cracked one of its hooves. Okay. Robert, help out the oxen, please. We're going to take it to the backyard and do something with it. One ox is exhausted, but... With its hoof improperly cleaned, the ox has become exhausted. Okay. All right. Well, let's slow it down. Ah! Stop it. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. We'll slow it down. Okay. Where is this going to go? I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to come over here. It's going to go there. 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 Okay. Stop. Steady. 
Go. <laughs> yeah, 73 days until winter. I know, I'm scared of that. Greetings, we see many of you. This is Eagle Eye out this way these days. Would you be interested in trading for our fish? If you're worried about what to trade for, do not fear. We've taken uh, to using your money from the east. Most folks out here are using it now. Wow, okay. Uh, let's see. What do you have? Purchase items. Buy fish. Buy fish traps. Buy bait. Reconsider. Um, or we can go sell fish, go fishing, pushing, push on. Yep. One or the other. Well, I don't know. Um, I guess we could sell fish and then go fishing again. Can you haggle? Yeah, we'll haggle. Hey, thank you, Bliss, for the re-up on that. If you change your pace in the middle of walking, it won't change until you get to the next stop. Well, I mean, there's not much I can do about that, right? But when, when it's changed, it's changed. It's over, right? Appreciate the re-up on that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Price is quite firm. Ah! Oh, wait, we can't... What the... I was hoping to fish and, like, haggle, but all right. Thanks for that. That's very well. Okay, we will then now to worry about... Yeah, hygiene. There we go. There we go. We're going to get a bottle of medicine here, though, soon. Notices that one of the oxen is walking a little bit lamely and decides to tend to it to ensure no harm will come. We are at a steady pace now. Did you get kicked? Why are you throwing up? The ox kicks Maggie in the stomach as its leg is lifted up to be investigated. As Maggie loses her lunch, she determines that the leg is perfectly fine and the ox is more than strong enough to keep walking. Yeah, you think? My lord. Okay, so the party finally arrives at the Three Island Crossing, which hopefully we can get some trade done here, at least. Let's see, anything going well here? We could get another ox if we wanted to. 31 bullets. Now, now you're speaking my language. How much are you offering the ox for? A trail map for the ox. Not that bad, actually. Not that bad. I'll do it. 31 bullets. What do you offer for 31 bullets? Can I haggle that? I might not buy the bullets. Because that's a lot of... Um, a lot of clothes. I can't do that. Toolbox. What about the toolbox? Eight herbal remedies. I think I could at least haggle that down, right? Yep. Seven. We'll do seven. A little bit more important there. Pelts, 26 bait, I shall not do that either. Sell fish, we shall not do that either. <laughs> uh, right, let's go here, we'll go boom. Okay, I guess we're in an event, can't do that yet. Okay, now I should be able to do it. Repair, okay. Um, boom, boom, and boom. Bring that over there. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's cross. Extreme. We're going to caulk the wagon. Right? We're not going to caulk it because we don't have enough pelts. We have to obviously rest. We will rest. But I might ford it, though. Yeah, this is going to be a ford situation. going to be running low on meat on this. I don't know if this changes now. If we went to meager on this. Rest and improve. Okay. 
Rest and improve. Rest and improve. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. Continue. Hey, Naomi. How you doing, Naomi? <laughs> that part, that was too high? Wait, was that two feet? Wait a sec. Time out. Time the F out. Wait a sec. Time out. I thought that said two feet. That said two feet, right? It said 0%, but that said two feet, right? Two feet is not too tall, right? Moderate. We've crossed moderate. You have to admit, we've crossed moderate already. By the way, hello, Naomi. I watched one of your members' videos yesterday, the one where you were going shopping, and I loved it. Look forward to more of those members' videos. Oh, very good. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Naomi. 2.9 feet. Three feet. Okay, so three feet. That's that's fordable, no? All right. Anyways, F it. I, 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 I very, dis very much so disagree on that. But that's all right, I guess. We'll have to kind of uh, go about this now. We'll adjust, I guess. Hmm. All we have is hard tack. So we got to go somewhere that's going to give food. That's going to be here. Uh, hang on. We're going to go bare bones. Grueling. Fish. Now. Oh, repack this. Okay, we actually do have uh, flour. That's good. Okay. Two and a half feet is too high? Really? Two and a half feet is too high? I didn't think two and a half feet... I didn't think... I thought anything under like three and a half was, was good to go. A coyote growls at the party. The party stops and waits to see how the coyote will react, but it makes no moves. What should be done? I don't want to approach the coyote. That thing will bite us. Don't mess with the coyote. See, I always thought the, uh... I always thought the... I thought it was three and a half and under. Small ways from the trail, the party spies a long abandoned wagon. Might be salv salvageable. Who should search it? Maggie shall? Wagon wheel. That's something. We could use that wagon wheel for sure. Yeah, we could have got snake bit again too. <laughs> fish team in the water nearby. A prime location to cast. Yes, we will go fishing. All right. Let's go fishing. Let's get some food back, shall we? Because we lost all of those resources before. Luckily, we had a ton of bait from us from a ton. Of, luckily, we had a ton of bait on us from the challenge that we did, right? So that's always good. We kept our knife. That's all. That's pretty clutch. We got very lucky in the situation that we just went through. There we go. We are. I want the biggest, fattest, juiciest fish out there. I want the fish coming out wearing yoga pants that says juicy on the ass. Okay? That's the fish that I want. <laughs> that's the fish I want. We need something that's going to hold us over for a very long time now. There we go. Good job. Great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, end game. What did the fish do to me? I, nothing. I just need it. 
I just need the biggest and juiciest fish. That's what I need. Yeah, I need the bootylicious fish. Exactly. I need the fattest ones I can get. We got, got additional 20 fish from the fish trap, so that's really good. Yeah, the, the use of the fish trap is also going to come up clutch right now, too. Excuse me. Okay, all right. Um, now we got to figure out how to do a little bit of Tetris here. Uh, so let me just, like, move this to the side. Move that right there. Put that. Maybe rotate that if I can. Like, we'll put that right there, maybe. Or, like, that to that to that. And we'll dip a little bit of that into that, I think. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, The meat here, we're not going to be able to do much. So let's change our rashes to meager. We'll still run at a grueling pace, I believe. Because we need to get out of here fast because we're in a very tight situation. I think we still have coffee, right? Yeah, we do have coffee up with us. How's the morale? Let's see. The morale could use a little bit of harmonica. Geller, yeah, let's use a little bit of harmonica Geller, please. Perfect. Robert is going down in health a little bit, so let's take care of Robert while we're here. There we go. Get him up to three at least. And uh, we'll go here. All right. That's good. I'd be worried if the fish wore trousers. <laughs> the Kim Kardashian of the fishes. Without warning, the wagon is surrounded by Sanborn. This is going to hurt, dude. Yep, that's going to hurt. That hurts a lot. Ay, ay, ay! Okay. Reevaluate. Shirts. Everybody gets a new shirt. Everybody gets a hit of coffee. Everybody, well, not everybody. Some people get hit with herbs. That's what we'll do. Leave it at that. Composure. How are we doing composure? Composure's good. Composure's good. Continue. Without any ammo, the only resource is to try gathering of the berries and fruit. Yeah. I guess so, right? Uh, this is a food one, right? Health. Okay, that's a health one. That's a stamina one. We will go for the health one. Running at a grueling state here. Come on. Repack that. All right. Uh, shoot, dude. Um, right. Actually, gonna use that. Okay. There we go. Continue. Uh, we will investigate this. The whole pond be looking at her. Should he hit the flow? That fish you know? We shall get low and low and low and low and low and low and low for the fish. Lucian, get there. Now. Okay, good job. Gather the meat. That helps us out. But where are we going to put it in the freaking... Yeah, where are we going to put it in here? Yes, right Ah, uh, yes, I see where. Right there. Perfect. I know some T-Pain. Come on now. You should know better. Cook it. Help with our health? That's very clutch. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, now we will go to fish. <laughs> ah, tough one, tough one, tough one. Yeah, we'll go fishing. We need the money. We need to get as much fish as we possibly can, I think, before we get to the fort. Might be cheaper to buy a new wagon than fix it at this point. <laughs> Small cluster of reeds near the trail bellies the presence of watery springs, such as serendipitous. Uh, fine could be a boon of for Grace's stamina. Drinking from the source could be positively reinvigorating. Uh, yeah, I've never had this come up, so I'm gonna do it. F my face, son of a bitch. Ah. <sighs> I deserve it. I, yeah, I deserve it. I absolutely deserve everything coming to me right now. Right. Last time you talked to the people, they warned you not to do that. <laughs> Hello, travelers. I accept your challenge and everything you're giving. Yes. Hit me up with 50 more bait. F me sideways. That's an F me sideways type moment there. Yeah. It's either F my face or F me sideways. You can you, you, you can choose. <laughs> I'll let you be. I'll let you choose which one there. That's that's just terrible. That's terrible luck. Yeah, we're almost there. Should be fine though. Yeah, we just we need to get a lot of fish right now, so that we can sell and get a lot of money. Um, that's like the most important thing right now, so that we can repair our entire wagon, and then buy a little bit more resources. She's saving our food all run. I know, right? Exactly. MVP here. 100%. This is definitely... Uh, this is huge. <laughs> all this bait. I mean, F the bullets, right? We don't need bullets now that we have, you know, our fish bait going through. We've been surviving on fish and cash. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. Just continue. Just like you casually, you know. It's all right. You know, we're going fine. We're just doing our thing. We're having our fish good time. Still looking for the juicy fish. Not to be confused with juicy fruit. <laughs> Even though, you know, juicy fruit is kind of a banger. It is. Juicy fruit is... That's a gum. That's a nice, that's a nice piece of gum, okay? I don't care who tells you different. Juicy, juicy fruit is a good one. That's a good piece of gum. We all deserve F me sideways at times. <laughs> now Fit Rad understands. Now Fit Rad gets it. I, I did great. I did great. I did great. Trust me, I did great. Now she actually gives us a lot of good stuff too. So great. That's going to help us out a lot here. Watch money wise, supplies, right? 120 pound fish, fish trap, 20 fish additionally, 115 fish altogether. We cannot use our knife. I guess um, fish trap trail map fifty dollars good stuff great stuff well to be here like well-being 
very like she MVP like somebody said MVP now the real question comes in uh what do you do well very simple I prioritize my fish because I'm gonna be selling that stuff so I'm gonna prioritize fish I might have to leave something behind here but I'm going to prioritize the fish I will get rid of that <clears throat> if I need to. Anybody want some composure? Yeah, Grace needs some composure. We'll use some composure on Grace. Slide that right on in there. Slide it. Discard that. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. 20 miles. We're good. We're good. Lucian, a foul smell comes. Oh no. Rotting food is likely. Ah. Oh. Ah. Fighting through the smell, Lucian thankfully notices the culprit. The fresh fish, or rather, the no longer fresh fish, as it appears to be quickly rotting in the heat under the wagon canvas. Ah. Hey! I just lost 120 fish? What the hell? It's a it, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It keeps coming. And then when you are ready for it, it keeps coming for another haymaker. Hey, Adi with the five gifted memberships there, giving it out to Sergeant Cat, giving it out to Kinka, Beanicorn, Bedtime, and Nightmare Angel. Congratulations to those five people for picking up a membership, all gifted by Adi. Very generous of Adi indeed. Making five people feel included and welcomed. Thank you very much on that, Adi. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. All right. Well, then. We shall... I don't know. Work on grace. 100 plus... Uh, 165 flower we got. So that's, that's good, at least. Whew. Look at that. Thank you, Adi. Very kind of you. Very generous indeed. That means five more people can be added for tomorrow's membership live stream of... Of, uh... Yeah, of freaking, uh... Jackbox. Yeah, Jackbox. Watch out. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Well, we made it to Fort Boise. Fort Boise indeed. All right. Well, uh, first things first is we're going to sell fish. We have 439 pounds of food. We will haggle. Please come through. Thank God. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Now, we will sell, I think, all 121 fish to get us $242 as well. And then what we will do is we take a look at everybody. Uh, blacksmith, please, honestly, how much is this going to cost me? Fully repair the wagon for 80. That's not bad. I I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Wagon is all good. Fixed out. And then we will go through cholera. Actually... You know what? No, this isn't a second guess. Yes, this is a this is yes, Grace. Take care of Grace. 25 for the illness. 
There we go. Back to normal. I thought, all right, I'm feeling good. Hygiene. Anybody need some hygiene? Possibly Lucian. We have some Lucian action there. Very good. There we go. There we go. All right. $276 still with us, too. Yeah. All right. We're looking good. We're feeling good. We're looking good. We're tasting good. We're smelling good. We're sexing good. We're doing all the goods, okay? This is good. Oh, my Lord. All right. Trade supplies. Bullets. Possibly something we can get there. Offers two clothes. I wouldn't mind actually picking up a few clothes. Um, I will do this. Good job, Maggie. Yep. 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 Uh, Maggie, I will give away 15 uh, bait for that. Yep. I'm comfortable with that indeed. Offer 26 bullets. What are you asking for this? You're asking for an arm and a leg? Thanks, bud. Coffee, what are you doing for this? You are doing the same thing. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's go to store. We'll go to store. Okay, one thing we want desperately is another set of clothes, I think. I think another set of clothes is a good buy. I think uh, wheel grease is a good buy. Multiple wheel greases, possibly. Maybe all of his wheel greases. And all of his toolboxes. All a goodbye. Maybe even a knife. Goodbye. That's a goodbye. Yeah. Uh, even possibly some medicine. Why not, right? Maybe, possibly. Or we go with like a wheel. What are we, th what are we thinking here? We're going to have to play 14 hours straight to give everybody a turn. That's why I'm like... I was going to start the stream tomorrow at like 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but I was like, frick, dude, I'm going to go through a lot of people, so I'm going to have to start even earlier, at like 10 a.m. instead. Okay, all right. Yeah, fishing will be scarce going through. Uh, fishing will be scarce going through. It wouldn't be a bad idea getting some flour to top us off, right? Another hit of flour? What do you think? Medicine? We can go medicine and flour. So then we're looking at this. Uh, we're looking at this. We're looking at boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We're looking at that. What does that look like? I mean, that looks like a decent haul. That's three greases. Nine toolboxes. 14 t-shirts, 4 medicines, 53 bait, almost 3 stacks of flour, 88 stacks of meat, 3 fish traps, we have a knife, I think this is pretty good. Oh wait, we can't buy that. <laughs> Never mind, it is not that good. <laughs> but if we got rid of that... Then we can. But maybe we could do that. What about that? What if I take out the flower? Yeah, I, I think this is what we do. I think we go like this. I think we do that. Hundred and seventy five, eighty eight, seventeen, all the above. Keep it all. Medicine. Bait. Grease. Trail map. I think this is a full send. I think this is a full send. We're going to send it. This is absolutely being sent. That doesn't mean... That means we get no lodging. That means we... Unless, you know, we sell, like, maybe a pelt or two. Do we have... We only have one pelt. That will give us $6. That's not going to give us enough for admission. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're not gonna we're yeah we're not gonna go with bullets. We're gonna try our best and stay away from bullets here. Um, I'm gonna bank on that we'll be fine without bullets, but we're gonna have to see. It's probably a bad idea, but we're gonna go that route and we're gonna see how it goes. 
By the way, Adi with another gifted five memberships to five more people. Duchess, Whitney, Steffi, Oki, and Rose picking up five more memberships. Look at that. Hey. On the behalf of all the 10 people that received a membership from Adi, we say thank you very much, Adi, and big shout out to Adi. Yeah. I think we're going to go without um, bullets. It probably is a terrible idea, but I'm willing to go and try at least a leg or two or a route. I could, if I wanted to, maybe look into doing this. If I have, uh, yeah, I could go this route. I could go two medicines for it, which I think we have three or four. We have four. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Just in case people don't want to get too, like, um, people don't trust me in my way, I'm going to go ahead and haggle as much as I can. And I'll go ahead and get the bullets so that people aren't too worried about it. And we'll go through 26 bullets, two medicines. I think that's fine. That's a good good hit there. There we go. I think we're going to be good. Okay, right. Um, we will rest. We'll do that. And we'll head on out. We'll head on out. How many members how many new members this week round 200 ah well i don't know it's hard to count yeah it is it is hard to count i think it's more i mean there's been a lot of gifted ones but then there's also been uh memberships that have been uh uh happening on their own too so i don't know what the actual amount is that might be something i could like see in the analytics and stuff but i do not know how much that is it's very awesome it's very generous it's very uh, cool to see, especially within the um, community, seeing, you know, having people uh, um, be included, you know, this holiday season. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, excuse me. There it is. Okay, there it is. 26 bullets. I think what we shall do, well, we could rest one more time. No, we're not going to rest, and we are going to change. We're going to depart, and we're going to change our uh, status here. We're going to come off of grueling is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to come off of grueling. So it's going to go Blue Mountains to Fort Nez, and then Oregon City. Here we come, right? So we'll go Blue Mountains. We'll go Blue Mountains. Ooh, restore hygiene, yes. I feel like that. Yep. Hygiene for sure. We could definitely do that. Even the cholera we could do as well. Okay. I'm going to go steady paced. What is this? Hygiene. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Meager. Meager. This is all... You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're using the trail map. First time ever using the trail map? Look at that. Okay, that's pretty good. Hunting ground, grizzly bear. Hunting ground, moose. Okay. There's fishing right there. There's a fishing hole and there's a fishing hole over here too. If we go at a steady pace, it's going to take us 10 days. If we go at a grueling pace, it'll take us five days. We have one set of coffee. And, uh, we'll see here. Let's go with, 
I'm debating whether or not I go from I go to bear to moose or fish. I think I'm gonna go fish. I think there's a better upside in fish. Bear could take way more bullets than we have, so I'm gonna go fish. We need fish. We're gonna go fish. We're gonna go at a steady pace too. We'll see where it takes us. Brick. Cracked under pressure. Okay, already. Not exactly how I wanted to start this out with, but I will use the grease right away. I was hoping I could like wait a little bit before I did, but it doesn't seem that that's gonna be the case. This. There we go. You'll need pelts for the last river? Okay, pelts for the last river. Okay, so yeah, let's go. F Wait. Shoot. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, I tell you what. This is going to be interesting. Maybe I go up and then cross my way to the left. We'll have to see. Because there is some pelts there. There's some pelts there. There's fish there. Yeah, I think this is a good route to go. I think going north is a good... Because there's grizzly bear and there's moose up here too. Yeah, this is, this is the way. Mandalorian, this is the way. We shall rule at a filling ration. Keep our morale up. Gravestones brings down the party morale, you know, understandably. Now, when I use this grease, I feel like I should be using the grease at a grueling pace. That's how I, sh I feel like I should be doing it. If I'm using the grease, it should be ran at a grueling pace, of course. I don't know, I could be wrong about that, but I feel like that's how we should use it. There we go. Again, the fact that we got so much bait is such a uh, big deal. Big, big deal. Mm -hmm. An old tin can. I've never got an old tin can before. Interesting. There we go. You're also on grueling pace. Am I on grueling pace? Thank you, Sean, for the uh, two dollars, two super chat. Appreciate that. I'll take a look after we're done here. But I, I thought it was on a steady. I thought I had us on a steady, but I guess I didn't. Switch it over. It's too far out. Damn it. Sean Ford, a. Hey. Sean Ford. Gotta ford the river, baby. Here we go. What am I gonna do with the tin can? I don't think I can use a tin can. I think it's just trash. There we go. More garbage. Good thing we have a lot of bait then. If we're gonna find a lot of garbage up here. Pink salmon, love it. It doesn't show up in the inventory? Okay, very good. Big chungus. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. I think of the AM PM commercial, chungus.
Anybody else having flashbacks of computer class in elementary school? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. 10 bait, that's fine. Using the 10 bait is good. Alright. Fish trap. 20 more fish, that's good. 115 fish altogether. We'll use the knife to get even more fish. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're running out of grueling pace. Okay, so we are running out of grueling pace. It is. Okay, good, good, good. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll work with that. I'll work with that right now. How are we doing energy-wise? We'll save it. Uh, we'll go to the grizzly bears. Yep, we'll go to the grizzly bears. But we'll repack. Move this son of a gun right there. Turn that over. Do that. Please, not, not, let's not use like lose the fish as soon as we get it, like last time. Okay, good. I don't know how many days are left until um, until winter. The looming clouds have the last gift shower in the wagon. It's raining hard in the snow, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's not snowing. It's raining in the snow. Mood is somber and the wagon's wheels slog over the muddy ground. Everybody lose hygiene and get all dirty. We should have repaired the wagon. We lost 24 meat. Rain pours through in the wagon, damaging some meat. Of course it does. Of course it does. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, no. Maggie decides to approach the marker and reach the word, read the words out loud. Yep, there it is. It reads, our only child, little Mary, four years old. Maggie's voice drops to a whisper as she reads the last words. Party morale gets hit hard. Quest completed, apparently, though. Thank you. Okay, let's 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 kind of like after that, let's let's take a second and like, you know, like kind of hit ourselves with some harmonic harmonica Geller, please. Let's do that. Perfect. Let's continue. Hunting. All right, so here we go. We need to get the pelts. Very important here. Very important. Now, also, another thing I want to do in this run, and I know it might be like, ah, oh, how dare you, right? But one thing... Okay, one thing I want to do in this, though, is I think I want to try to go to Oregon City with money. And let them, like, come through. You know what I mean? That was a bad shot. Like, I want to pay my toll fee to the Broad. Because I haven't done that before. Because last time we went down the river. I think that was a good hunt. I think that was a good, good hunt. Obtain the pelts, use the knife, eight pelts, go to the moose, I guess, continue. Ah, no, 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 no. I was just about to use the grease. There we go. Energy's a little bit staggered. We'll use the last bit of our coffee, and then if we need to, we'll slow it down a bit here. Nothing better than her, a harmonica restoring morale after seeing a grave of a child. <laughs> the toll was about $50 or something like that. Okay. So if I have a goal of $50, uh, isn't it per person, right? Isn't it based off of per person? <sighs> All right, let's see here. Uh, Robert, what the frick, dude, Robert? Broken, like, you have like three broken legs on this entire journey here. Ten per person, five per ox. Okay, so that would be... What? That would be... Like, 55, I guess, right? $55 we need. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Can we have the mini game where the bear and buffalo shoot back? <laughs> That's cheating. That will repair this and this and this. And what I'll do is I will give them clothes. Continue. Should be coming up on the mooses here. Armed laser bears. Go back to this. I need some milk. Oh, that's one shot on the moose? Oh, that's wonderful. I thought they were going to be like a two-shotter. Well, that's good news for us. That's very good news for us. This is going to come up clutch a little bit, isn't it? Hundred and fifty pounds, yeah? Yeah. Nine bullets. Now we, we we've exhausted all of our bullets. Just about. I think we have one bullet left. We will obtain the pelts. Use the knife in doing so. Sixteen meat, fourteen pellets. Sorry, minus sixteen meat, but fourteen pellets. Damn, I think we're doing good on that. Now we could go here to rest, or we can go to get fish again. Let's see here. <sighs> what round? What round? I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Blue Mountains. Actually, I don't have an idea. I don't know if you can sell fish at Blue Mountains. Does anybody know that answer before I make my next decision? Can you sell fish at Blue Mountains? Because that will determine my next move here. You can. Is that right? Okay. If you could sell fish at Blue Mountains, I'm going to double down on the fish. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, the trap will be dropped after the fish. That's exactly what I was thinking. We were thinking, uh, Simbatico. Yes. If you can trade, you can sell fish. Okay, good. All right. Okay, this is going to go well. Oh, no. This isn't going to go well. Quality of flour. Okay, I don't give a damn about the flour. The flour, flour can be discarded. Yeah, get it out of here. Party morale up. Energy down. But they're doing a hell of a good job right now. I tell you what. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, here we go. We ready for this? We're gonna go fishing. We'll do the fishing. We'll get as much fish as we possibly can. I don't know if our knife is still available for us. Hopefully it is. I wasn't sure. I, I, I didn't see it. Um, and then we will... Um, we'll drop our last trap. Because we'll have one trap and then we'll you know, keep our fish. And then we'll sell a bunch. When we get to... Uh, the place we're going to. Mary could have lived if you'd taken the same trail and give medicine. <laughs> I don't know. I think Mary dies any... Like, yeah. People have been saying Mary dies no matter what. It's just part of the story. Kind of be like, um... What is it? Like, uh... Like this... Somebody mentioned it early. Like, this is how hard the trail is type thing. It'd be cool if you could save her, though. Right? It would be. The only way she doesn't die is if you don't find her when she's lost. Which probably then means, like, 
she dies a different way, maybe a gruesome way. It, or, well, maybe not entirely. She could be picked up by another family or something, too. Go. All right. Yeah, so whoever this, like... What was it? Hodi? Ho... Ha, do... He... Hodi... Hoda? That the Native American that gave us all this good, like, bait and challenges and all that, like. This has been super, super, super clutch. Through this entire uh, hit here. This entire journey. Okay. Now we will repack once we do a little bit of this. Okay, we don't have a knife. All right. That answers that question. Check our inventory. Okay, get rid of that. Turn this over. Put it in. There we go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Go here. Send it there. Discard that. Honestly, we could be even backing it down if we really wanted to, to like strenuous. It's either I go grueling or steady. Where are we at, energy wise? How's the ox? Ox are good. All right, we'll keep it at grueling. We'll keep it at grueling. Let's go. Wait, what? Fi wait, whoa, 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 what? Fix the space? Wait, what's going on? The flowers? I had to discard the flowers? Wait, what? Oh, on the right. Wagon's back wheel catches. Okay, biceps. Uh, we will unpack some, like we always do. Uses a little bit of energy. That kind of sucks. That really does suck. Full speed ahead, Captain. Top right. Oh, I have flowers on the top right? I don't see any flowers up here in the top right. Are you talking about the flower as in like flower? Oh, you're talking about flower as in flower tax, right? Bag of flower. I thought you said flower flower. I see. Yeah, I could have done that instead. I see what you mean. Uh-huh. I got it. Yeah, I see what you mean. I was looking like the other flower. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. It'll still be good. Thank you for rescuing a few of my friends. Wish we could have saved more, but at least uh, all is not lost. We're going to get medallions. $30 for that. I mean, we really didn't even try. Honestly, we didn't try like we did the first time. Yeah, we did not try. So thirsty. Don't even start. The party's water supply has run low. It is not refilled. We will uh, continue without water. No. Re re uh, I feel like people are going to get sick with the larvae uh, swimming lazily on the surface. Yeah, you guys will be upset about that. But let's be honest. Like, y'all want to get sick or what? Right? We're all right. We made it to Blue Mountain. Ooh, that was close. You've never ended the game with less than 2,000 coins? Like, like the dollars? Like the currency? 2,000? Oh, my lord. We're still on one day of Greece. Yeah, we're still on Greece right now. We still have Greece. Greece is still active. 
We have one day left, though. All right. Blue Mountain is here. Let's see. We got health and... We, well, we got medicine and we got uh, a Bible. Okay. First thing we will do is we'll see who's actually here. Nobody worth talking to right now. We will trade and we will sell fish. We will haggle and I hope this goes. Please, Maggie, please help us. The one time I need you. One time I need you. Okay, let's see here. We'll sell a hundred fish for a hundred dollars. We'll sell a hundred more fish. And we'll walk away for now. See what people have. Coffee. <clears throat> Haggle. Pelts, fish, meat, flour, or one thing of coffee. I don't think... I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I know, Maggie had one freaking job. One damn job. Should I sell all the fish? So the reason why I haven't sold all the fish is because I was going to hold on to some of it in hopes that the next place I go to, I can at least get Maggie to haggle better. Or somebody, whoever, to, to, to haggle better on my next place I get to. That's why I haven't sold all of the fish. Let's see. Let's rest and redo this. Yeah, let's rest and redo this. Rest. Hey, Serena, how you doing? I haven't made a stream on time since Tuesday, but I'm here and starting it over. Oh, good to see you, Serena. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, hope you're doing well. Let's see. Trade supplies. Let's see. I do like the clothes. Fifteen bait, though? I don't know. Fifty meat seems way too much. Then another thing. Wheel grease. 20 pelts? No. This is tough. 15 bait is okay. There's a part of me that wants to keep the fish. Yeah. Just because we don't know what's ahead of us, right? If anything, if I keep the fish, then let me see here. We have a lot of food, right? A lot of flour, a lot of meat. If anything, I can at least get rid of the meat, right? Two clothes. We'll do the meat. Okay. Grease. We won't do. Traps. Uh, I think pelts isn't a bad thing for the four traps. But I don't know if our inventory is going to hold that. I mean, I guess we could put it right there, right? I think traps could help us. Yeah. Hey, Infly. How you doing, Infly? Hope everyone is having a great weekend. Hope you're having a great weekend as well, Infly. I'm gonna go pelts. 
Four traps for pelts. Instead of doing 20 pelts for grease. Yeah. I don't think that we're not going to do that route. Flower. I don't need. I don't need that. Nope. Okay, I think that's where we're going to sit at. 461. Food, maybe. <sighs> I could sell the fish at, what is it, 95 $95? Or I can hope to hold on to it and double that amount at the next post. But I don't really have control of what they eat, huh? So in that case, I will... Can you actually micromanage them and like determine what they can eat and not i'm gonna go ahead and just sell the 95 hope there's another fishing hole and that's what we're gonna do and then we will rest again if we can please and thank you uh organ is known organ's not next yet not yet they only eat the fish after the meat okay i see I see. Okay, that's a, that's a good thing to know. Anything else changed here? Now, two. Two could be interesting. I might go with this. Hey, not given. How you doing? I might go with this. Two wheel grease, 11 pelts. I'm going to do it. Okay. We have one, two, three greases. Traps. 14 clothes. All that good stuff. Oh, I had a girls night last night. Hey! Love to hear that. Hope you had fun. You been watching on the big screen TV? Oh, baby. Okay, so... I think this is fine. I think this is good. We're not in a bad situation as it is right now. So, we could rest a little bit more if we really, really wanted to. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's rest. Let's do it. We have no coffee. We have no coffee. And we can definitely not run at a, at a grueling pace, but we will be running at some sort of pace here. We're going to go back and forth here. Use the hem book. Isn't that a morale thing? Yeah. So we have Fort Nez into Dallas. Fortnez into Dallas. Restore uh, Grace's hygiene. There's fish right there. Okay, fish, fish. Okay, we'll go fish, fish. Not going to be able to use the traps as best as I thought. Okay. Let's go here. We're going to run out of grueling here at the beginning. Take a look at this him. Composure. We'll use composure on Robert. And we'll continue. We'll go. We'll run at grueling first. And then we'll back it down if we need to. Heavy clouds. It's raining in the snow. Terrible day for rain. Thank you for that. God damn it, Robert. Getting in mud everywhere. Hey, Rose. Yeah, someone gifted you a membership. Just got done making dinner and saw I got a sub. Again, thank you. Time to eat. Oh, very good. Yeah, awesome to see you, right, Rose? Absolutely. Seen a comedy show and a few drinks. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Love to hear that. That's awesome, Imply. <sighs> a cough. Search for the herb. Let Grace go find it.
What are leftover deviled eggs? I end up eating them all. I, dude, I that would I would love to have leftover deviled eggs. I swear. I love deviled eggs. Love deviled eggs. Big fan. We are still using on one day, right? If we use grueling with grease and back down when it wore off, would that be the best efficiency? I feel like it would. I feel like that. Yeah, I do. I feel like that it would. Last time I made double egg salad for sandwiches and it was delicious. Ah, oh, God, now I'm hungry. I have lunch in the living room. I don't know what it is. Danielle brought it to me today. I have no idea. She just said I have lunch and I don't know what it is. But I'm super curious to know what it is. We make 60 double eggs at Thanksgiving every year for 20 people. There are never any left over. Never enough, right? 60, never enough. But Oh, that sounds so good. I had, I think for Thanksgiving this year, I had, I had like four. I was very disappointed. By the time I showed up, they were all gone. There was like four left. Very disappointed. Hey, Leanne. How you doing, Leanne? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Amber. How you doing? Good to see you. Pop it in before. Say hi before I go to bed. Oh, have a wonderful night. Have a good night's rest. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thanks for popping in and uh, and saying hello. Appreciate that. I know. Remember to eat. <laughs> I know, right? I was sent home with hella de deviled eggs. Jealous. Very jealous. I'm very jealous. You should try XCOM 2. It's kind of an old game, but would be cool to watch. I know so I know most people have played a lot of XCOM uh, back in the day. Uh, there's a lot of creators that have XCOM. I don't know if I would be, like, good at those kinds of games. I really don't know if I would be. There's some games, some genres that I steer away from just because I know it would be, like, a grueling headache for people to watch. That's in game. We split the recipe. One half is normal. The other half, horseradish in them. Because the uncle... Oh, that would, I would love to have the horseradish. I, I, I love horseradish. I do. Nice. Get a nice red steak. You know? Nice red steak. Doesn't matter. You know, any type of cut. You know? I'm not too picky when it comes to steak. Give me some nice horseradish. Right? Mix in a little bit of A1 sauce with the horseradish. Oh, baby. How you doing? All right, let's continue. Don't have a knife, but we got 75 fish regardless. This will take us to a lost wagon, which I think is fair. Because then we hit the other fish. And we'll go at our grueling pace. We might back it down here in a sec, though. Okay, a little bit of hygiene. Let's fix that. Okay. Two, two, two. Okay. We're okay, I think. We're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, the flower. All right. Flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discard the flower. Get that out of here. My cousin pop. My cousins pop deviled eggs like chips. We always have to make a ton of them. Like the, even like, like I've seen deviled eggs with like, wait a sec. Why did that happen with my grease? I guess the chances, right? Do we need to pop another grease here? Even like the bacon on the deviled eggs too. That's really good. Anybody do that kind of stuff? There we go. Okay, we got the grease rolling again. Oh yeah, horseradish with roast beef. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, that's a good one as well. The early bird gets the devil gate, I suppose. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'll go for the uh, wheel. Uh, single wheel. Okay, very good. That's fine. 
Single wheel's fine. We'll leave it. Leave it be. Okay. Okay, now let's back it down and going into the next section here. Go at a steady pace. I wish I would have known that before going in, but that's all right. Head of the party, the trail disappears under a mass of wooden leaves. Oh, crap. Uh, chop the logs or find another way around. Given some time, the fallen trees could be chopped and removed. However, it will require significant effort on the group's part to do so manually. Alternatively, the party could backtrack and try to find another way around, but there's no guarantee. We will find another way around with Grace. Grace is exhausted. That was a bad idea. Grace successfully finds a way around on the rock slide. Okay, but we gained grace, gained back in energy because now we're running on steady. So that's that was super lucky. <laughs> that was super lucky. So that kind of worked out. I had bacon and parmesan cheese in my mixed up. Oh, that sounds so good. Y'all are making me hungry. Oh, hello there, travelers. Hidao, that's the person's name. Hidao. I set up my challenge again. You did very well last time. Would you like to try uh, the best to yourselves? Yes, I would like to do this again. Hey! Enjoying the stream a ton with my son. His birthday is tomorrow. This is for Drake. Happy birthday, Drake! Hey! Happy birthday, Drake! Everybody. Happy birthday, Drake. A lot of birthdays going on. Happy birthday, Drake. That's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you, Daniel, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the stream. It does make me happy. 50 more bait coming up clutch here. Woo. I already have grease. I already have grease on. Grease is already on. Grease is already on. <laughs> have a great day. Have a good one, Infly. Absolutely. Have a good one, Infly. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Ready for it? Everyone, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Ready? We ready? Happy birthday, Drake. Happy birthday, Drake. Indeed. Look at that. Thank you, Anna Kate. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. I use some grease for Drake's birthday. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Good stuff. End the game. Coming up clutch with the 50 bait once again. Not so much fish on that route there, but that's all right. It was used up when we went around the log. No, I think we still have grease. We're good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think that was great, though. It was okay. <laughs> I don't think she's going to give us anything for that, is she? 35 fish. Don't use the knife. Three fish traps. I don't know if I really want that. No money. No money. Oh, it is gone. How did it go that fast? All right. Well, here we go. Use it up. Go. Three days. Three days. See this? Hey. Knocking on three days. Happy birthday, Drake. Yeah. How, how, I mean, I hate to say like, how old is, how old is Drake? But you know, that's awesome. Ah, oh, Grace loses her footing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Fortnez, here we are. Winter in 43 days. We're gonna be- we're gonna make it to Oregon before winter. Um, we're gonna be fine. Right? We'll- we'll be okay. We'll be fine. We will sell a bunch of fish here, though. We'll 
We'll sell all the fish that we got. We'll get our stamina up. I don't know if we might be able to. Yeah, we might be able to, be able to cure Robert here as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to max Grace's hygiene, too, huh? Yeah, that's okay. I think we're in a very good state here. I think we're in a very good state. I think we're going to be just fine. Honestly. We're going to have a lot of money. We're not going to have to go rafting down the... Uh... <laughs> First of all, hopefully Maggie pulls through here. You have one job, Maggie. Oh, thank you. Okay. This is it. This this is this is it. This okay, time everybody put their seatbelt on because this is it. I'm taking over. First things first, sell 50 fish. Okay. We'll come back to him later. Okay. Second thing. We will go services. This is like the big one before. Like this is almost the end end game here, right? Uh, physical health. Yep. Do that with a little bit of uh, Robert, please. Thirty. There we go. Restore his health too. I think would be a good idea. Okay. Grace also fix Grace. I guess no, no, no Grace, no Grace, no Grace. We'll leave that be. Uh, blacksmith on the wagon. Repair only damage. Repair fully. Fully repair the wagon for 10. I'll take that. Alright. Barber. Give them all a good, nice wash. Grace. Good clean. Lucian. Robert. Maggie. Was it worth it? Probably not. Was it worth it? No, nope. but I'm splurging on them now. I know nobody's for no one actually this entire time has has been forlorn in the entire time. Yeah, that's the good thing. Pokemon with the kids playing Pokemon with the kids. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, Dan Daniel. That's awesome indeed. I love to hear that. Look at the trade here for the supplies. That's not going to be anywhere remotely worth it. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Hey, Ant Captain. How you doing, Ant Captain? Let's go here. Let's see what we have. $330. <clears throat> okay. Two in stock. Had this stuff in there. Might be unnecessary, honestly. Might be like overkill at this point, but we'll do it. You have one thing of coffee, we'll grab some coffee. Um, I could get a knife. And I probably will. Um, I could even get medicine. Which I probably will. I might, I don't know, I might bring that back, who knows. And then I could like just buy flowers straight up again. Let's view the wagon. Okay, well, easy enough. I can at least get rid of the tack. I could probably get rid of the guidebook. And then... Slide that in there. Okay. That's what we can do. We can do something like that. Yeah. We can use the book. I guess we could use the book, right? In order to use the book, we have to sacrifice something. Well, we don't necessarily have to sacrifice anything. We can actually back out of all this and do it all back again. Right? Yeah, we could do that. Let's back out. Okay, 
leave the store. Let's go ahead and go, I guess, guidebook. We'll use that. There. <laughs> Anybody have a, need a flower? Yeah, Grace. We'll use one of the flowers on Grace. That's what we'll do. And then, let me see here. Check the map. Fort Nez to Dallas. Dallas to Oregon. We still have another place to sell stuff to. And buy stuff again. I guess, I don't know. Actually, probably not. Once we get to Dallas, then it's just like a quick thing into the into the city, right? That's probably how it is. Yeah. That's probably how it is. So this is probably like the real last store we really have. Right? No, no. The, well, the Dallas is still, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go back through this. We will add this. Right? Uh, 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 uh. All the four people. Thank God he got rid of the hard tack. <laughs> Put the medicine back to use. Use the book. Then go back and buy the meds. Flower always makes me feel better. Check if you can trade the baits for something. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that's also true. Very true there. That's why I'm going to hold out on a little bit of things. I, I'm going to buy the essentials. And then if I can... Get away with a couple of other things that I don't need to buy in the store. I'll try to see if I can trade away some bait for it. Now, I'm going to not get the bullets right away. I'm going to check to see if we can trade for that first. Okay, so that should be good, right? Hey, now. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see what the trades are like. Okay. Bullets. 77 bait. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Maggie. 69 bait. I tell you, if anything, that's bait on its own. 69 is already just bait. Okay. 46 bullets for 69 bait. Should I do it? If you're using 69, you're already baiting me, okay? That's that's a full-on bait move there. Oh, he's 12. Okay, very good. He's 12. Very good. Oh, very good. Thank you for thank you for letting me know that, Dan Daniel. That's awesome. Placed an order with Gamer Advantage yesterday with your discount. Oh, very good. I'm so glad you did. Thank you for that. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that, Ant Captain. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for using my code. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. What's the bait cost at this fort? That's a good question. So this will stay, right? Let's see. If I do that, trade that bait away. 36 for 25. 36 for 25. It's cheaper if I trade the bait away for the bullets and then just buy bait. Yeah, it's cheaper that way. So I'm going to go ahead and trade. I'm going to do the 69 for the 46 bullets. And then I'm going to buy a stack of bait. I don't need like 50 bait and I think 25 will be plenty, of course. Toolboxes. I'll do a medallion maybe for the toolboxes. Actually, I'll reconsider that because I don't know if I have enough room thinking about it now. No point of fishing anymore. How much uh, actual, hang on a sec, how much bait do I have right now? Four bait. You know what? You know what? Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it as is. 
We'll leave it as is. Yeah, I think I walk away with what I have now. Let's rest up. Let's rest up. Yeah, I should probably check the coffee too. Let me check. I think the coffee is just going to be too expensive though. Anytime there's three... Whoa, Grace is no longer exhausted. Anytime there's like three things of coffee being offered, which I don't know if it's going to be still here though. It's not. Usually it's very expensive. Um, We have enough grease, I think, as is. I think we're ready to go. I think we are. I could sell more fish. Yeah, I have another. Yeah, we have another place to sell fish too. But I'm gonna hold on to it in case I need it for whatever reason. Cause I only have 162 flour, 20 meat, and then if I actually need to use this as rations, then I I'll, I'll worry about that then. Okay, cause I don't know if I'm gonna be going at a grueling state now. Maybe I don't know. Depends. I wonder if we can like stay one more day. Stay one more day. So tired. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend another eight. We'll spend it. We'll spend two days here. I'm going to keep the fish. I'm going to keep the fish. But I might sell the pelts. Right? Because we don't, we're not going to cross a river. We're not going to be going on a river. At least that's not the end goal. I don't know if we cross a river now. Between here and Dallas. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> it does get more expensive. Um, we don't need, we're not crossing any rivers, right? If so, I'll get rid of the pelts. But I'm going to keep the fish. They'll eat the meat and then the fish will have... After a day, they will be eating fish. Yeah. So we should keep the food. I'm not worried about fish and money anymore. No more rivers. We'll sell the pelts for 24. The only money I'm worried about is just money to get into Oregon. That's it. Other than that, we're ready to go. I'm going to hold on to the fish. To Dallas. To Dallas. Yeah, we either go to the foxes. We go to the question mark and go fox fish, I guess. It really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, we will go to grueling state with a little bit of elbow grease, please. And um, I'll go to foxes so I can actually use. This should be fairly quick to do. We can use the bullets. Hopefully we can use the animal traps as well. I don't know. All characters must survive. We will discard the tack. All right, here we go. Let's finish it off, shall we? We'll finish it off. Time to finish it. Let's not get screwed up here. All right. Already getting screwed. No, I'm going to be taking the road this time. Just because I haven't done the road. I've never done the road. It's, I know it's probably like... Nothing special or anything like that, but I want to be able to say I did both, like the river and the road. Okay, so traps are automatic. They're not like the mini games, like they were in the survivor thing, right? Where you had to like go to the exact position to have the traps done. A woman draws near dressed in the rough garb of a fur trapper. You folks heading west? You'll need meat. Then I sell it cheaper in the forts. Uh, right. I mean, we could buy meat from her, but. We'll haggle, at least, and see what the offer is. It's pronounced Dallas, not Dallas. Is it Dallas or Dallas? Which one? Some back and forth. Maggie's sharp wit and clever words managed to talk the woman down. She scams you? I feel like we bought from her before. Sometimes they scam you. $20 is worth a scam. Thank you kindly in exchange. Let's see. I guess it was good, right? 
Yeah, I, I guess it was good. No, no scam. Yeah. Discard that. Discard the flower. Because if it was rotten meat, they would have told us right there, right? Shooting. Um. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of bullets. We'll do a lot of bullets. We have a lot of bullets. We'll use the bullets. Yeah, I would have said it right away if it was rotten, right? Yeah, I feel like that's, that's so too. Frick, dude. These little guys are fast. Ah! Yep. Oh, got him. Got you. A little bit of, yeah, a little trigger happy. I actually got something in the back. <laughs> I got a fox. I love getting those kills off screen. That's so funny. Nine bullets, 90 pounds. Sick. 90 meat. Minus the trap, 30 meat plus the trap. Good news all around. Obtain the pelts. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. Why not? We got room. Um, yeah. We'll use that as well. We'll go fish. Yep. So we pronounced Dallas, not Dallas. I'm saying Dallas. Dallas and Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, Dallas, Dallas is only 76 miles away. And dude, the hard, the, the little tiny, the little tiny foxes and the, the, what is it? The rabbits, I think, right? They're hitboxes. I think it's the rabbits. No, it's what, there's another small creature that is super, 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 um, super, like the hitbox is just small, very small. The squirrels, right? Okay, the squirrels, not the rabbits. The hitboxes are just ridiculous. I'm gonna hit it with the uh, coffee here. There we go. I don't. I don't. I can't remember the beaver. Beavers. Here we go again. Uh, like 50 bait. Like, why is heat out everywhere? I'll accept the challenge. It's good, good bait, good food, all the, all the around, right? All the around. It's very good stuff. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. If I can get one more trophy off before the end of the uh, route here, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy. the red shiny bubbles i want the red shiny bubbles give me that <laughs> give me the red shiny bubbles yeah the little small hit boxes are just it's just too small they're hard it's very hard i had a hard time doing those like uh sur whoa those um survivor 
whatever the heck the first like the competition thing the competition hunting man that was tough Okay, so I think we did great. She probably won't th feel that way. Oh, she does feel that way. And that's going to be an extra $50, right? Heck yeah. Yeah, fishing has definitely came in clutch this entire time. There's a part of me that feels like fishing has been like easy mode, yo. Use the knife. Whew. Damn, damn, damn. More fish traps, more money, more trail maps. My lord. I think we can wrap this one up in the bag for the most part. I'm going to go to the question mark because I'm feeling frisky. I mean, honestly, I'll just probably discard this stuff. It's too much stuff I don't need. Yeah? No, too much stuff that I don't need? I guess so. I, like, honestly, I think we're okay. We will... I was just about to put on the elbow grease, dude. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. There you go. Put that on. Thank you. Go. <sighs> Suddenly yells out, halting the forward march. Maggie. A rip in my shirt. Really? This entire time you have not ripped your clothes, but until this one moment? Uh, we will replace it. We have plenty of clothes in the back. Just put on a new shirt. You're fine. My lord. You're gone. You've traveled 2,000 miles across the country. And you have not ripped your shirt once. And now you did? Yeah, alright. Oh, yeah. Fishing is way easier than hunting. I like the challenge of the hunting, though. It is kind of fun to do still. Um, I'm going to push past hunting. We don't necessarily need it. We're running with 481 pounds of freaking meat, dude. Of food. I think we're going to be okay if we miss this one uh, hunting ground. Notice this is one of the oxen is a little bit lamey. Okay, we can take it. We'll, we'll back it down a bit. We'll back it down on the ox. She just got kicked in the stomach, I think. It's twice that's happened. Okay, let's see here. I mean, honestly, if we lose an oxen right now, that actually saves us money going into Oregon, I think, anyway. So, you know, if you want to leave, ox, you can leave all you want, really. We'll go at a steady pace. It's not going to matter. Oh, it will give you a bonus if you max out all the uh, stats before you go to the toll. Interesting. The weather is depressing. Oh my god. Get it out. Get over it. Get over it. We're there. And this will be the first time. Well, I mean, this is going to be the second time I complete the Oregon Trail from, you know, beginning to end, but. This is going to be the first time where I actually have four people. Unless, like, we get sniped in the woods or something, but... Yeah. <laughs> I used to love to play this game when I was a kid in the 80s and loving the new version, this new version. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. That's good. That's good to see that people from other from older generations absolutely um, older generations can enjoy um, this game as you know it's been re it's been rehashed like 24 times I think I think I saw since 1971 um, been around Created in 1971, but it's awesome to see the older generations actually really enjoy this uh, new one. I know there's other, and I see it. Like, I see it. There's people that love this game, and there's people that are very upset with this game. 
Um, because they feel like it's not true for the Oregon Trail because of the whole, like, beginning of the game where they said they, uh, you know, they, they sat down with, with, you know, real or like not organ, sorry, real like uh, real Native American scholars and things like that. They sat down with them. A lot of people hate that, which I just honestly find ridiculous. Like, get over yourself. It's a game, <laughs> like honestly. But yeah, it's awesome to see people really enjoying because I really enjoyed this, and this is the first time I've ever played Oregon Trail. It's so like I said, anytime in computer class, I always decided to choose Roller Coaster Tycoon over the Oregon Trail because theme parks were more my speed and more interest me more you know back then all right so this is it we will uh send it we got the good good goods yeah sell the 200 fish there's 400 all together we'll sell the pelts as well putt putt joins the parade i know exactly what you're talking about what was it that, um, some of my first games when I was a kid, I'm trying to think of them. It was like, uh, Sam, Pajama Sam, anybody? Pajama Sam, uh, Tonka. I played a lot of Tonka, too. Yeah, a lot of Tonka as well. 681 dollars, look at that. Look at that. I don't think we're going to need bullets right now, do we? Ah, frick. There we go. Yeah, I think the thing with people about, like, they didn't like, like, I have, a, I have had a lot of people comment after we, like, in the first episode of this game when we played. Like, I had a lot of people come. I just basically get rid of the folks that just want to push their political agendas. But, um, that's what they were. They were basically complaining about that more than anything. They're like, oh, it was, they, they, they more or less brought politics to the game, which I'm like, get out of here. I don't need that. Get out of here with your shit. <laughs> I just delete them and boop, get rid of, get rid of them. All right. Um, I think we would rest again. Let's rest again, shall we? Now all together. If you want to rant about your political stuff, you know, people like do that. They want to rant about the political stuff. Go like back to Facebook, honestly. <laughs> Go do that on Facebook. You can have all your fun on Facebook. I promise you. Uh, let's see. I think we can rest one more time. If we, and the reason why I'm resting is because I want to give at least uh, a full, full energy. Well, I'm not going to be able to give full energy now, am I? Uh, try to do full stats is what I'm trying to do, but I don't think it's working out as best as I, I think. Right. I know, I miss the Oregon Trail music too. I wish I wouldn't get copyrighted for it or I'd be playing that music hardcore right now. <sighs> hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. Okay, I think we can at least look away through it, right? Health. Okay, I did not know she was actually low on health. Or she had a tinker in her health there. Yep. We'll rest one more time. Okay, how much food do we have? Great stamina. Okay, we got food. Okay. Kind of all stats are good, but not really. Okay, let's depart. 
people look at reasons to get mad at something. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. To Oregon City. It is agreed. The Barlow Toll Road seems by far the safer route. The party travels south, dreaming of Oregon ahead. This is all new. Watch, someone's gonna break their ass coming down this hill. Huh? Where it's gonna happen? Aha! A bored sounding man. Welcome to the Barlow Road. Now, passes passage costs uh, ten dollars per person and five dollars per head of oxen. Which comes to a total of $55. Now, if you didn't have the money to do this, is that game over? Like, you have, like, to turn around and, like, that's your journey. You come all the way here to not be accepted. Is that how the game ends? Thank you kindly. We hope to see you again soon. Okay. So, fish again. Easy. Um, easy enough. I see a campsite. Where it could help us with health. I think we go fish, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, we're good. Go fish. Go fish. Thanks for the long stream and finishing the game off. No problem. No problem. I know. I know that it can get weird sometimes when you do a um, stream in the middle of a run and then like, it's like, oh man, you know, we gotta stop halfway through, right? I, I, yeah. Yeah, it can be hard sometimes, but I did want to start from beginning to end in today, uh, Oregon Trail, because, um, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you have 30, he'll take that? You have an option to plead your case, really? If you plead your case and if you fail, you go back to the river. Ah, okay. So you you either go... Uh, I see. Okay. I, I see now. Got it. Honestly, I think we could, like, make it just pushing on. This is a risk, but... <laughs> I mean, here we are, right? Five days. Let's hit it with a grueling. Go to the little uh, foxes. We could take it easy here. But I'm pretty confident that we can make it. Pretty fast. Uh, dead meat? No, we'll push on. Leave it. Don't touch it. It's like when I drop something on the ground when I'm eating. Ah, Bella, don't touch it! Oh, Bella got a haircut last night, too. Danielle and I were watching Shameless last night, and, uh... Yeah. She got a haircut during Shameless. I might go for it. I'll go for it. I'll try to get these little guys. Might as well use the traps, too. Got you. Can we see her at the end of the stream? You want to see her? I'll show her. I'll show her, yeah, at the end of the stream. We'll definitely do that. Pitcher Bella. But with short hair. <laughs> I'm knocking out the foxes right now, am I? Finishing off this Oregon Trail with a bang, baby. I'm sad Shameless is over. I love that show. There we go. Bunch of meat. We should be good till Oregon. We don't need pelts, we will just ignore it. And we will head to the campsite before Oregon. So glad I don't live in Oregon Trail sometimes. I would probably shoot my own butt off trying to hunt or something. <laughs> Inspect the oxen. I mean, if we lose an oxen, look, it's fine. Give the oxen extra flour. We're going! And I still gotta eat lunch!
All hell, Bella Bella. Oh, uh, share stories instead of the health? Damn it, I should have. Yeah, I should have, huh? I, the health is pointless, but yeah, I should have shared stories. Onward, everybody! 29 days until winter. You just trip. Don't ever trip again. Have we made it? There's something ahead. Yeah, you think it's the freaking city you've been going to for the last three months. What do you mean there's something ahead? Hooray! <laughs> We've done it! Ah, how beautiful. It would be way better if there was the music. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Prompt pops up. Skatoos leaves the party. <laughs> or or a prompt comes back up. You just see uh, Skatoos has joined the party. Skatoos comes from the woods randomly. We have a fifth person. Uh, <laughs> is the party member just joins. After months of turmoil and uh, privation, privation, fearsome dangers and matchless wonders, uh, the party has finally made it to the Willamette. I, somebody told me how to pronounce that. It's not called Willamette. Uh, but F me, dude. Uh, Valley. Can I just call it Billy Valley? Against all odds, the party have completed their journeys to Oregon. And all four of them. The Oregon are bust. Look at that. Look at that. Hey. I was saying well admit, but people that well admit, is that what it is? People were saying that it wasn't pronounced that way. So I don't know. People, I, pronunciations are a bunch of, like, crap anyways. Like, tell me. How do you, how do you spell valet? Somebody spell valet for me. Your party has reached Oregon City. Congratulations. Finish it on hard mode? And I didn't lose a single person this time. But let's be fair here. The fish. Um, the fish. Yeah, the fish. That that was that was the key to our success here. <laughs> See, that's how you spell valet. Yeah, like parking valet. Yeah, the guy that takes your car valet. Not a valet or valet or valet valet. Tell me how that one's pronounced. Congratulations, you made it to the Oregon Trail. It was a long and dangerous one, but now your party can look forward to a new life in the Willamette, Willamette Valley. Uh, 271 animals collected, 81 fish caught, three quests completed, skill checks, all that, stats, food consumption, all that good stuff. Yes. 126 days to do. Probably very, very, very... Way quicker than our last one, right? I think, maybe. Uh, everybody survived. Uh, Maggie decided to learn a new instrument and now plays music for local dancers. Robert started a local business in Oregon and is an active member of the community. Lucian got married in Oregon and is now living happily ever after. Grace started a family and now live happily in Oregon on their own land. And at the same time, what the heck was that? I didn't get to see. It. Oh, be a witch. Be a witch. Thank you for the, uh, appreciate that. Thank you for the re-up on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, yo. English is just a bunch of language trying to be one. It's basically it. English is just a, di there's a bunch of dialects. There's too many. It's a mixture of so many cultures and depending on where you live and all that stuff, you know? As a non-native 
English speaker and a non-American, I can understand the difference in Kansas and Arcan Arkansas. I I can't understand the difference in Kansas and Arkansas. <laughs> See, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about that? <laughs> exactly. Arkansas or Kansas? Arkansas. People would say Arkansas. Ah, it's Arkansas. If you live in Louisville, is it Louisville or is it Louisville? Or is it Louisville? <laughs> it just depends on where you're from. Louisville, 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 whatever you want to say. Don't matter to me. I don't care nonetheless. As long as I'm understanding what the hell you're saying, that's all that matters. You can pronounce it any way you want. You live in Louisville? Then I, I would say Louisville. But I know you probably would say Louisville. Right? Maybe? There we go. Now the only thing that we haven't done really is the nature trail. I think that's like the last thing that we haven't done. You definitely annoy me with your pronunciation of Dallas. Well, that's, that's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem. I gotta say it as best as I can because I can't pronounce shit. You know this. That's a your problem thing. That's not my... Actually, it probably is a 100% my problem thing, but I have to blame it somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. Don't try to pronounce UK places. I know, right? <sighs> F me. But hey, look at that. We did a six hour... Uh, exactly almost six hour um, stream where... We completed the organ or bust, okay? We completed the organ or bust, and um, I think, I guess, it's supposed to be the hard mode, right? It's supposed to be the hard mode. I think what happened was we got into the fish game way too fast, and um, I think the fish game held us through. I don't know. I think the fish game is seriously... If you do this, if you do this yourself, if you go to the organ bust, do what we did. Just do the fish game. You'll be just fine. And don't... Yeah, we only blew up once, right? We only blew up once. Don't get the prospector. <laughs> if you've learned anything today, in six hours, don't get the prospector. Because that hurts. Oh my god. But... With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure not to be with you today. This is probably going to be the last... Oregon Trail we do for some time. I know. Dun da da dun da da dun. Sad, sad days, right? Sad days indeed. We've done everything in the game. Uh just about. The only thing we haven't done is a scenic trail and the nature trail. Maybe I can go back and play those. Possibly. But for the most part, we're pretty much done with the Oregon Trail. I will show Bella in her haircut. I will go finally eat some food as well. But, yeah. So, unless the Oregon Trail comes out with some new content, I will be willing and open-mindedly to... Uh, open-minded to um, come back to this game and show off that new content for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will definitely do that if they do that. I don't know if they are or if they're going to. I hope they do, though. I really hope they do. And if they do, um, that'd be great. So... All hail Bella Bella, right? All hail the freaking Bella. Yo! Where you at? She just woke up from a nap. Her hair is sticking up. She's very camera shy. When she is on camera, she stares up at the ceiling. I do not know why. Look at Bella, it's you on the camera. You see yourself? Everybody's praising you. Everybody praises you, Bella. They love you. She's getting old, I tell you what, though. She is getting old. Like I said, I just... 
I just woke her up from a nap. Right from dead sleep. You okay? Good to see you. Thank you all for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Right? Absolutely. We appreciate it. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you today. If you enjoyed today's stream, please make sure to hit the like button. Hit the like button. Not for me. Hit the like button for Bella. And all that good stuff. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have a good rest of your day. Tomorrow, we will not be doing a regular stream. Tomorrow, we will be not doing a regular stream. Tomorrow, we will be doing a members live stream only. If you are a member, please make sure to go over. And if you became a member today, please make sure to go over to the home page of the channel. Hit the membership tab and uh, scroll down a little bit. and You'll see the live stream that we're going to have. You will not be notified. YouTube probably won't notify you that we are starting the stream for the members live stream. So there's a few ways to know to be notified. One, go over to the membership tab. Click on the stream itself. Click the notification button on that. Uh, hit your notification on or go into this you can join the discord make sure you link your discord with your youtube account and i will ping people i will ping members uh telling them that we are starting our live stream um but yeah it is a private event of jackbox and we are gonna have a lot of fun it's gonna be a good time we're gonna be playing jackbox all tomorrow all day and all that good stuff thank you all for stopping by hanging out with me today hope you all enjoyed i will see you all very soon i'm gonna go see what i got for lunch and all that good stuff. But yeah, thank you all. And uh, do, of course, take care. See ya. Did you make it to the end? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs>